Okay, all right. So I've just got Rem here. I don't even know actually what the disagreement is, but apparently he's got some shit to talk. Um, before before we get into that, though, I want to say three things. So two of them are just little kind of corrections from last time, and then one of them is just uh, just a point about your and my relationship. So. Rem, we had a perfectly productive conversation last time I spoke to you. I, yes. don't, I don't know why you have to go and, you know, talk shit on Destiny's stream, talk shit on Twitter, talk shit on your stream. Well, I don't you know can... what you mean by talk shit on Destiny's stream, really. Well, I, I can't remember exact quotes, but you said a lot of things that weren't exactly flattering. I, I ascribe to you, no, I ascribe to you that sort of hyper anti-realist position that you willingly have described yourself as and uses this this view that everything is ultimately um you know axioms uh type of meme which is no exact no just one second so i don't i don't have quotes so if you're gonna say you don't consider that shit talking then okay surely you consider what you're saying on twitter shit talking oh absolutely <laughs> okay absolutely. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. now now i i do recall some shit talking from the stream just for the record but i don't have quotes so well we, we i think you might it. perceive it I uh, shit talking, but like it's just that. I mean, okay, well that's fine. I, Let's just it, talk about the one that we agree okay. is shit talking. So the point sure. there is just that you actually have a direct line to me. I don't understand. Like for me, I don't shit talk someone if I can just communicate with them directly. If you have an issue with my position, you can just come explain it to me, right? So I don't understand what the what the deal is with that. I think that's not appropriate. So that's the first thing I want to say. What do you think about that? Well, no, yeah, I can, I can, it's something that I've been thinking about for a very long, sorry, I'm having to adjust the levels here. Um, I've been, it's a thing that I've talked about on my stream quite a bit, and I've thought a lot about, about um, who I should be bringing on my stream, who should I be discussing with, um, and my views on that have sort of been more fluid, and I've now shifted a bit one way, uh, but at the time I wrote those tweets, um, I was, uh, I'm, I basically said after the discussion with probably irrelevant, um, I don't know if you're familiar with who that is. Um, after I, I had heard the name, yeah. Yeah, um, as a, after I had a discussion with him, that was so incredibly frustrating for me, I decided that maybe it's better if I just hyper-focus my own stream uh, with people who, who are philosophically literate because I feel like that is more in line with what I want to do with my channel. And I think it might be potentially more responsible. But then I had my own community come to me. Uh, and for example, Nashi basically say that I'm, it's a bit hypocritical um, to be open to debating someone like uh, Mike from PA, but not you. So I. I, I <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm not. That guy says some fucking crazy shit. <laughs> well, look, um, just. There, there is a few things there. So firstly, I never asked to come on your platform, just to be clear. I mean, it's fine. I, I don't have any problem with it. Um, and it's nice to, you know, get the views out. I'll put this on mine too, so you can, you know. Oh, well, no, 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 it's so. not, it's not, a, it's sorry. It's not about platforming and potentially negatively spreading your, because you have a bigger platform than I do. So that that's not what I mean. I mean, like platforming yourself onto my channel and what that then represents my channel as. No, but I'm right? saying I never asked to come on your channel. So no, I, I, yeah. no, I recognize that, but that's why. Okay. Well, no, but I tweeted that out, right? Because I, I, I don't know if you kept up with my thing, but I've, I'm very consistent in my belief that people should not be talking about an area that they don't have a lot of familiarity with. It's a general belief that I have, and I ascribe, and I talk about it all the time. I, you know, I, I've railed on Destiny about it. I've railed on irrelevant about it. I've railed on. We're, tons we're and just tons and tons we're we're getting we're getting off in the weeds. Like so, the only point that I made. Right well, no, start, that, I've just explained to you why I sent out those tweets because. That's... Okay, so so basically yesterday, so your view changed between yesterday and today is is basically what you're saying. You thought through this platforming thing or whatever it is, and now you just have a different view. Well, I think it's more that it's I I, I don't know what I'll do going forward, but at least. For today, I think that it's better to just sort of get this out of the way because it. I think it could be potentially unfair for me to do that without being willing to have a discussion with. You. Okay. So, well, there. how how about how about this going forward? Okay. If I have a problem with you, I'll send you a little message before I make content about you. And if you have a problem with me, you send me a message. And if we can't resolve it, then we can make videos at each other. Does that sound reasonable? Mm -hmm. I, I, 
I well, I mean, so again, ultimately, the the way that I use my my platform, and one of the things that I mo- go for most forcefully is this belief in moral responsibility in discussing subjects that you care about um, or or are familiar with. And I mean, your entire you know, your entire channel is like devoted to basically discussing veganism, and it very often goes into you know questions in ethics and and meta ethics. And I'm of the belief that I don't think that you have a sufficient background in that area to be making the type of claims that you do. Um, and so just like I do with everyone else who does that, like Destiny or Irrelevant, even though I think Irrelevant and I have now sort of agreed on, uh, uh, Wait, on the way in which Rem, we should But you're just, you're not, you're not like, sorry, I mean, let's try to be productive like we were last time. I just don't understand. I mean, I'm explaining to you my rationality. I don't, I don't. You asked me uh, for Yeah, no, no, I I did. uh, Okay, I might have at one point, but the last thing I said wasn't asking you for your rationalization for, you know, why you do what you do. I was just proposing, you know, this is what I do, okay? If I have a direct line to someone and I have an issue with them, I just raise it with them instead of making content about them. And if we can't resolve it, then I make content if it's important to me, right? Well, sure, I'm just saying, so so wait, so so, with you before. Well, what Rem? Wait, what's the what's the specific point uh, about talking about things that you don't have a lot of familiarity with? Okay, wait, but when you go on your stream, you're mm-hmm. you're saying a bunch of stuff about me, right? And you could speak directly to me. So I'm just saying that's not something I would do. If I, I have could not just go really communicate with talked person. about you on. My, I I mentioned your name you're, once. You started streaming about me today. <laughs> but no, no. But I okay, said at the start well, of my stream, I plan to talk to him all when right. I go through. Look, I, I, I said what I want to say about that, so that that's fine. So the other thing before we actually get into the topic, whatever it is that you're disagreeing with me about, the other thing was just a little, yeah, well, there's two of them, but maybe I'll just mention one. So just a little correction from last time. So you remember when I represented your argument in propositional logic, and then you told me on Twitter that the argument couldn't be represented in propositional mm-hmm. logic and required deontic logic? Okay, mm-hmm. so surely you're going to agree that you contradicted yourself when you came onto the stream with the argument represented in propositional logic, right? Sorry, what what stream? Um, when you and I talked, you called it like the ask yourself debate, the great ask yourself debate. Oh, right. Yeah, no, but I was trying to do that. Uh, I was showing internal... In- con- I, I took basically... I tried to be charitable, and I said, okay, well, let's even assume that this is the way in which you would present the argument, because it isn't. I mean, it's a deontic. Wait, um, but the the argument, you, no, no, no. Let's go and look at that stream, okay? Because what you did last time was you came with the argument and we represented it in propositional logic. <laughs> right, right. So unless, because I because in order to have a discuss, I didn't want to have a discussion with you about logical do form. You, do so you, I said, well, let's just put that aside so, and let us just assume for right now that the argument okay, let's you represented look it up. is correct. Let's just look it up. Ask yourself, Ram great debate is that what you called it something like that okay here we go great ask yourself debate and here you have the argument written up in propositional logic right so are you right, telling and me, so ex- just just be, is that is your write-up inaccurate strictly speaking yes okay if you grant but that, I, but I, okay. I, I said and that, what is right? I, and what is inaccurate about it exactly that 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 the way that the original position is formulated is that they are deontic propositions they're telling about what someone ought to do and so they can't really be represented in propositional calculus um and i said I see, that i said I that at the time i, I, I said that when i reviewed your wait, video wait, no 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 one I said s- it on twitter wait wait a second one second these uh, these propositions absolutely can be represented in propositional logic the, look let's go one by one the epistemic anti-realist is right can that be represented as p uh let me pull it up again i mean i because I, yeah do you well, know what logical form is? i just ram i'm not i'm not going into that with you what i i just no, want no, a I, simple because, no, this, this i want really i want what, no no, no. ram on, wait on, wait no no we want an honest conversation okay please look, right I'm, and i'm trying to have an honest conversation okay so but determine... but you're do- you're do- look i asked you I'm not so- dodging the question. okay well let's just be clear about what the question is you said the argument couldn't be represented in propositional logic you represented the argument in propositional logic now what i want to do is go through every problem proposition in the argument and you tell me which one can't be represented with a propositional variable just straightforwardly using propositional logic and unless you can do that i just want you to admit you contradicted yourself okay so oh i didn't contradict okay so okay so i just want to go one by one can the epistemic anti-realist is right be represented by pull up my uh, post 
I'm pulling up the actual argument so I can see. I'm, I'm pulling up what you brought on stream, I, what you were chalkboarding. So I'm going to copy paste that and I'm going to put it into um, general. Discord? Yeah, just one second. Can you just PM me? Um, I don't want to open up our DMs on stream, but one okay. second. I'm going to open, I'm going to give you a role. It'll give you access to a private channel. Just one second. Okay. Um, rem, role. Um, What's that fucking role called? Um, Visitor of the Realm. Okay, you should see a channel called Realm of AY. Just go in there and I'll post this for you. Um, one second, I just have to find it. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P. Sorry, what's it called? R. Uh, it's, it's just the text channel with the voice channel that we're in right now. It's called Realm of AY. Yes, I see it. Yes. Okay, so this is what you wrote here, okay? So, and, and Rem, this is like not, like the main issue is presumably, right. just to be clear, the main issue is presumably something you have about my meta ethics or normative ethics or something. So obviously I want to get to that. I, this is just a trivial little point where you absolutely contradicted yourself, and I just want you to admit it. So we're just no, going to go. No, and I'm trying to explain to you well, why. Well, I wait, did. Rem. So can the, I explain the, to the, it. One, one second. If every proposition here can be represented, <laughs> if this argument can be represented accurately in propositional logic, then you you did contradict yourself because you said that's not the case. So let's okay, just so let's just go through the propositions. Okay. The, okay. Can I can I what, explain after you, after this me... after Rem? Okay. Well, no, because I can't answer the question for you without the epis it. Look, the epistemic anti-realist is right. That can be represented by P, correct? Uh, so I yes, uh, but can yeah. I explain to you uh, wait, what no, the caveat is after, here? Yes, after. So that okay. Well, there's there, no point in going through this. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're going to go through it. There are no epistemic reasons for belief. Can that be represented? But Rem, I'm well, going. Let's just Rem, this and I no. will tell. Everything what, can I, be represented in propositional logic. Okay, so there is technical so, sense. So there, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I just want to be clear. So this argument, every proposition in the argument can be represented with uh, a propositional is, variable. Uh, what, what Rem? One second. And every operator can be represented with just a standard operator in propositional logic, right? Okay. Okay. So what is? What is your point? If that's the can, case, can I, if that's the case, then the representation in propositional logic is accurate, Rem. No, it's not because of the fact of lot. It is. It doesn't match the logical form of the argument, and this is what I'm trying to explain to you. It so matches. Let me. Can, is, sir, you, I need. I need to be. Yes, you can, but I need to be clear. Is <sighs> is the argument what's written in text there? No, it's not. No, that's the. Okay. That's 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 why it's not. Okay, so explain what the. Form. Okay, now that's that's reasonable. If there's actually a different argument, so what is different between what you have written here? and the argument as it is supposed to actually be. Okay, so as I was saying, and as I have mentioned a few times here, this this screenshot here is what I made, um, basically granting you, well, let's even just suppose that it can be correctly represented in propositional logic, and that is actually the logical form of the proposition. Wait, because, no, no, on, you didn't. No, that's not, no, because that's I not true. Finish? Wait, that's not true, though, Rem. You had this same fucking... I can't, I can't even Rem. finish a sentence. Well, okay, well, let, we'll just yourself. answer this, okay? Did you not have the same write-up in that video that you made prior to this? The video <laughs> you made about me. And again, as I always have with these types of discussions, I preface it by being, in a sense, charitable to you because I don't want to have the side discussion with you, which we need to have right now, about logical form because it's a very difficult subject to talk about. So I basically just grant you that we can represent the logical form of these propositions in propositional logic and just examine the actual proposition themselves. That's what I do because it's simpler that way, even though there is that objection to be made and the a correct objection, I believe, that these propositions are best represented in deontic logic because strictly speaking, we're talking about like high level meta ethical propositions that are ultimately going to be reduced to norms and the way that someone ought to act, not merely just descriptions about the world. And so it is absolutely true that you can represent anything in propositional logic. So for example, the statement that um, it is necessary that the laws of gravity behave the way that they do. I can mm -hmm. represent that as P, right? But that is not the logical form of that sentence. The proper yeah, obviously logical you'd form want to use of that sentence is a modal logic. Yes, exactly. I understand it's a modal this, logic. But, but wait, but when- So look, how but, do you not see that that is the exact same thing here, but with deontic logic? 
because what you've done here, I'm looking at a video that you released on August 15th, 2018. Are you ignoring what I've said here about about prefacing these things well, by just, saying just to, I'm basically well, granting but, it? But why would you, why would so you why would why would you be granting me a form in propositional logic at this date before we ever talked about the argument in propositional logic? Like you're just lying. Why are you lying to me? So you so you. Okay. What, look, what am I look, lying about? Exactly? Okay. Well, look. This video was unless unless you're going to explain to somehow rationalize this for me. This video was on August fifteenth, twenty eighteen. It's called "Why Ask Yourself and His Position Are Dumb." And if you go to seven oh one, you have this argument typed up in a way that would be directly directly convertible into propositional can you, logic. Can you link me to the video? Yes, and I'll give you a timestamp for him, so it's in that same channel. Now, what you have, this is before I ever represented your argument in- And I and I have done it, and I've converted it to propositional form in here. Where? Um, in, at well, four, well, wait, at wait, four wait, minutes. Wait, well, no, no, I'm saying what you have written here, which is presumably an accurate representation of your argument, can be directly- What, what, what time? What, oh, it's at 7.01. Right, so you were using- I never converted it to propositional logical form. You, yeah, you, I, I, what are you talking about? Yeah, so it's not REM. This isn't written REM, in propositional wait, calculus. Hello, one second. Okay, so you don't have the variables written out, but the form is directly convertible into propositional logic. Again, so is any modal statement. Every modal statement is convertible okay, to so, propositional, so, but so, that is not the logical form. Okay, what, can so, you explain, what, what do you think so logical just, form well, is? Well, wait, just tell me, one second, I'm not getting derailed by you. What do you think here requires something other than propositional logic? Just tell me the proposition. I, I explained this to you because okay, we are which, dealing. Yeah, which, dealing, which specific proposition? Can I answer? Can I answer? I, yeah, question? yeah. I understand REM that kind of like with modal logic, when you use words like necessity and possibility, you want operators for those words. I want to know what word in here you think you need a separate operator for. B basically, all of them, uh, because these what? are these are statements about how someone ultimately ought to have. Because when someone has an epistemic reason, reasons are normative, are always judged relative to someone's set of norms okay so right? let's just take so the, a let's just take the first premise okay the first premise i would represent as p implies q okay how would you represent it um i think that that one you could represent in in propositional calculus okay yes. and the second one uh that looks like if there are no categorical reasons and there's that looks like q implies r right what so how would you represent that um i would say uh, I'm trying. What's the best way to do this in logic? So, uh, ah, right. Okay. So it's under three when someone says, "But there are epistemic no, uh, reasons wait, we're for belief." We're just talking about two right now. For right, two. yeah, no, no. So, so let's grant one and two as prop propositional logic. Okay. Okay. But when I say that there are epistemic reasons for belief, that is an a deontic claim. It's about the way that someone ultimately ought to have, ought to stand relationally to this concept of belief. So and this how... is a necessary claim about the way that someone actually ought to act. It is not a, it's not a descriptive claim how, about the how world. Would, how would you represent that? Uh, depends what kind of deontic logic you would want to use, I guess. Um, I could pull one up for you. Yeah, I just want um, I just want to know what you actually like. I don't because I don't understand why we couldn't just represent it in propositional logic or why or why that. Well, no, well sorry, I, I understand. Was... Yeah, that's not you can, but you consider it less accurate. I just want to know what is lost exactly. here exactly. That's it. Yeah, I just want to understand what's lost. What's lost is the fact that we're talking about moral odds. Well, we're well, not well wait, but what what moral. I but what I want you to do with three is I just want you to show me how you'd represent it, and then right, you know, that's I, what I'm doing. Okay, and then we'll just see what's lost. So you could, if you want to, do like a very basic traditional scheme of of deontic logic. I guess you do. It is obligatory that uh, fuck. I've lost the. Um, if an agent holds a belief. But I don't know. There's but, many ways that I could represent this for you. Well, you just well, want like anyone. Well, wait. It just it just seems like 
you I don't understand why the sentence there are epistemic reasons for belief would have to be converted into deontic logic, right? Like if you're because, if, this is what I was trying to explain to you is that the reason why it's important to frame this in the correct way in deontic logic is because we're not talking about a descriptive state of the world. We are talking about the way that agents actually ought to act and ought to consistently act in the world, right? That, that's why it's important to frame it in deontic logic, and that's why I thought it was that, why I ultimately think it's incorrect to reduce the logical form of some of these propositions down to propositional logic. Wait, but this premise doesn't say something about ways actors should act. It just says there are epistemic yes, reasons for belief. Yes, it does. What do you think epistemic reasons are? They're reasons. The, the, when I have a reason for doing something, this is, a, this is always going to be judged relative to some set of normative standards. That's, that's how we judge, you know, this is basic tenet in like philosophy okay. of action. I, it's a normative. Okay, now I, I, I just can't see why you would have a pro, like why you would say it's uh, any less accurate to represent it in propositional logic. I don't, I don't get it, you know, it doesn't make any sense to me. So you're gonna have to just keep explaining that if you wanna persuade me of that. What, I, I don't, under, what, you, what do you not think is correct, sorry? I just don't understand what you think you're gaining by representing it like that, other than not having to tell me that you contradicted yourself. Well, I, again, I've explained this to you, that if we are talking, actually, yes, one is, one is, uh, oh, Baudier, I think you are right. I think you're right that proposition, or pre premise one is also, should also be represented uh, deontically as well. And that's true, someone else points out that three is, is not descriptive unless you're an internalist. That's a good point. Okay, so we could reframe one as well if we wanted. Actually, I think ultimately correctly we have Wait, to reframe it because just... we would say that if someone is an anti-realist about morality, then they necessarily are obligated to. Yeah, but that's not what you have in text. So it's it's okay. No, if hold you, on. If Stop you... talking about text. It does. This is natural language. Yeah, I'm, okay, talk I'm, talk I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking Rem. I'm talking about if the natural language that you have written is directly convertible into propositional logic, and if that accurately represents what's being said. It seems right, that's to logical me form, and it's not because you miss the fact that we are talking about what agents ought to do. Well, wait, but right? you're but those are things that you bring in when you start. You have it. Okay, you know what? Look, let's. It just seems to me like I can't tell what you're getting out of adding out of trying to represent it in some other logic. It's not clear to me. I, I've explained why you, to you. Okay, it, well, because I'm it not, makes it, I don't it makes it your, clear. Uh, well, makes, no, no, no. The thing that it makes clearer would be an argument written differently in natural language that uses those kind of words, right? Well, no, because that's not how logical form necessarily functions. I mean, if you've read Russell, like that's the entire theory All of description. Right. Well, look. A, like a proper name. Look, look, a proper name like, you know, Plato can, according to Russell and a ton of philosophers, be written as there exists an object x such that if x is right and that doesn't at all match our natural language but the whole point of logical form is that we're trying to ultimately determine what is going to be best representing our structure of thought um and the logic that we're using therein when we are utilizing our natural language so the grammatical form of our natural language statements do not necessarily and certainly do not actually uh represent the true logical form so pointing out that grammatically it's not functioning as a deontic statement is just a completely moot point because that's not the way that logical form ultimately operates and okay. i think every philosopher let's, of language would agree with that let's just be clear so when you said the argument couldn't be represented in propositional logic that was false it can you just think that the most accurate representation uses deontic logic well, sure, but I mean... Okay, wait, that's I mean, that's fine. No, no, that's fine. That's admitting the contradiction, so that's good. That, now, that, that's wanna... not really a contradiction, though, because it, I guess it, in a sense it's, it's yes. a bit of a hyperbole, but it's no, like the same no, thing. It's same. Saying, hold on, hold on. No, it's hold Rem. On, Rem, it, it, Rem I... no, no, this is a contradiction, saying it can't be represented in propositional logic and then... I don't know why you're having to do this gotcha stuff, because it's very clear it's, what it's I'm just saying. A, it's just a... Con it's just it's not absurd. No, Rem, look, it's fine if you want to say, you know what, it can be... It can't accurately be represented. So it you, can be well, represented, but it's represented incorrectly. Yeah, I guess I'm not sold on that. I don't. I don't understand how it's inaccurate. Because, oh, I've just explained this to you because this this is saying what agents ought to do. We bring in normativity. We bring in what agents ultimately ought to do on a day to day basis, functioning as cognitive now, agents. Now, it's not now, the now, world. I can't. Now, I can't it's remember. So now, I can't. Logic. Now, I can't remember your exact quote. 
but if you didn't use the word accurately in that quote, you contradicted yourself, correct? If you said this can't be represented in propositional logic, then you've contradicted yourself, right? We can just dig up the quote later. One of us is going to be right about what it says. Maybe you're right. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay, no, no, but but even, like even if I didn't say accurately, it simply wouldn't matter because if I give you another example, when I say, um, uh, why won't you answer? It, just it say is yes necessary or no. that all dogs have four legs, rem, rem, right? Rem, and I say to that, rem, I'm, just, I'm explaining to you why that is not But you're not answering. An you're not answering, though. Look, if it turns out that your tweet said, this argument can't be represented in propositional logic, and it can, it's not a... then that's, then look, Rem, that is a contradiction. Do you deny it's that? It's implied. It's a, it's a natural implication of that statement. Okay, that it's not the... when I, even because I don't oh, include the word accurately, God. it doesn't mean that it's a contradiction. It just means okay, that you're not now, being charitable to now what I'm saying. That, that it statement, means that you're just behaving now, in bad faith. That statement interpreted literally, right, without adding in what you're trying to throw. I think you're operating in bad faith by trying to, like, <laughs> rationalize your statements after the fact, but it's fine, okay? I don't even fucking care. It's a side But I've point. literally said how Rem, many times. Rem, stop. About the just stop. Just stop. Stop, dude. Fuck. Okay, now look. If if what you said was that the argument can't be represented in propositional logic, and it can, right? That's a contradiction. Can you just say yes or no to Sorry, that? Sorry, can you repeat that? I was... If you said the argument can't be represented in propositional logic, and it can, that's a contradiction, right? Um, again, ultimately, no, because what is that, meant by oh, so P and P and no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not asking you to do some fucking hermeneutics on your language, Rem. I'm asking about the exact proposition that is written there. Okay, if you look, are these statements a contradiction, Rem? It's the case that this argument can be represented in propositional logic. It's not the case that this argument can be represented in propositional logic. Is that a contradiction? Um, in a certain sense, yes. In a certain sense. Rem, that's P and not P. That is a contradiction. That's just saying proposition and negation, right? What do you mean in a certain sense? Of course that's a contradiction. It's just straightforward. It's a contradiction in the sense that, I mean, if we were talking about the actual, like, propositional content of my statement, it would be. But again, if we're being charitable to what I was saying, and just as the way that natural language ultimately functions at the end of the day, uh, we recognize that, you know, sometimes someone might drop a word, but the meaning of that statement is still going to get across to people. Right, but Rem, you can always... You, you, you can, can, but can no, no, can, no, because you can always... This is so... Finish, yeah, because this is... Rem, yeah, because this is, cause this is Weasley, okay? Anyone can always, after really? the fact... Yeah, anyone can always, after the fact, go, oh, I meant this and this and that, okay? You can always salvage what you right, said I with, that. with that. But, but we, that's why it's so as long as I constantly have to As long as we understand, as long as we understand, that the actual words that were typed on Twitter were contradicted, that's fine with me. Do you understand that? Okay, so for that that robot who can only interpret things literally for the and has no for understanding the of for the social person, norms For the person who just read your tweet, I, I dude. For the person who just read well, no, your tweet. Why do, you, why, do you, why, do you, why do you assume that someone would... Person. Rem, why do you assume that someone would read the word accurately into that? Now, if you actually typed the word accurately, which you might have, then I'll grant it's down to my bad memory. But if you didn't type the word accurately, I have no clue why you would assume that someone would read that into what you're saying. Now, I don't know why this is so fucking hard to acknowledge, okay? If the proposition... It's, it's, it's hard to acknowledge because you're just trying to win a really... I'm just debate. pointing out a contradiction, Rem. If you say, uh, because I want to clarify it, obviously. I said I wanted I to clarify two you, things. And I've, and I've clarified with you my intention of it. And right, right. So, you, what, yeah, right. so what you're doing is something anyone can always do. You're performing hermeneutics on what you said in order to say, oh, it actually isn't a contradiction, right? But if we interpret what you've said literally, it's a contradiction, right? Just say yes or no, okay? If we interpret what you said literally, do what we does get, hermeneutics mean? If we interpret, don't try to derail. If we interpret <laughs> what you what said, you if we interpret what you said literally, is it a contradiction? Yes or no? If, if we completely yes or no? Yes or I mean, no? I don't. I, mean, I don't want. I don't want any preamble, Rem. I promise. If I pr Rem, no, if I <laughs> if we represent what you said, if we take it literally, right? If we just look at what you said literally, we're gonna get a contradiction. Yes or no, Rem. Can I add a yes can or no? A, can can no, a, no, I, I'm not interested. Rem, I'm not. In, I'm answer. not interested in your fucking weaseling. Now listen. No, no. Can I answer yes no. or no and yeah. then end it with something? Yes, you can. Yeah, that's fine. Just give me a thank yes or no you. answer. Okay. So, so I'll if, say yes. Thank comma, you. Great. Great. Comma. If you are a robot who doesn't understand 
uh, context and who just completely ignores the charitability of someone else's argument. Right. So we understand that if we interpret it literally, right? If we just read it, if we just read it, if we just read having it, no capability of yeah, at the yeah, because of because because Rem, someone should somehow read the word. Um, uh, what, what was the, the word you said accurately? Someone should assume that the word accurately is contained in the sentence. It's so robotic. What's your to, favorite book? It's so, it's so, it's so, literature? it's so robotic to see the sentence. This can't be represented in propositional logic and assume that they're not talking about accurate representation. Like, it's like, it's like, what are you talking about? It's just, this can't be represented. Well, you're the that's, first person right. that's ever had an issue with this. I've never, everyone under, everyone yeah, else understood well, what I meant we, by that tweet, except we, you, we, we, we clear, well, that's your assertion, right? But we clarified it. If we interpret it literally, you contradicted yourself. Okay, so let's move if along. If we interpret it right? like a robot, yeah, we if, if, if we, if we, inter if we interpret it fucking literally, like right? Like a robot. Right, look, Rem, yeah, if, but, if but I- we, But that's not the way that, that's not the way that natural language functions. We don't Rem, interpret everything. Rem, um, if we uh, look, look, I don't, I don't care. As long as you are granting, which you clearly are, that if we interpret it literally, it's a contradiction. Now you try to save yourself by saying like a robot. I think that's false because I don't see any reason why a human would assume the word accurately should be in the sentence because right? of the context of which it was tweeted. Right. Well, I don't think that context makes it obvious at all. But the point is, you've acknowledged that the literal writing gives a contradiction. That's fine. So now let's move along. Okay. Now. The other thing I wanted okay. to bring up was just the dog whistle. Wait, term. wait, can I, 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 we'll go on to this, but what, have you studied any philosophy of language before? Rem, I'm not listening to your fucking, I, I just, I don't, it's just a question. I don't, it's just a Rem, question. I, I look, don't, you asked me a bunch of questions. No, Rem, listen, questions? you know what, you know what I'm not down for, okay? What I'm not down for are your slimy, slimy fucking tactics, okay? Rem, what I'm What's here, what I'm, I'm here, Rem, I'm what, here. Rem, hello, okay, what I'm here to, you be what I'm me. here, I'm what I'm here, what I'm here to do with you is to go over my position and see what propositions I believe that are false, okay? I am so fucking done with your slimy, slimy tactics, okay? Where what you do is you try to go, oh, have you read this? Have you read that? Look, Rem, if I believe something false, fucking spell out the false belief, okay? All you're trying to do is posture. It's so infuriating. I'm not trying to posture. Yes, you I'm are. Really you you are, you are, you are. I want to give you advice. Rem, Rem, you are, you are such a liar, okay? Destiny called you a liar too, right? Which I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, right? Why did he call me a liar? In that big stream with you. Doesn't it literally say liar in the thumb? Doesn't it say liar in the thumbnail or something? Here, I'll just look it up. Oh, are you talking about the Bolivia one? Yeah, let's just look. Destiny. Do you, do you disagree with that? Do you want to talk about Bolivia with no, me? No, I do not. I do not. Not even. Excuse me. I'm here to talk not to even, about not even, not even, not even remotely. Not even, 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 not even remotely. The title of the stream says you're such a liar. Why are okay? we talking about this? Ask yourself. It's well, completely well, unrelated the reason, to the discussion. The reason, the reason that we're talking about it is because you keep trying to derail from the discussion. And you're derailing Rem, right look, now. Look, look, Rem, let me, uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I don't wanna have to Let's use. Let's get back to the topic I don't, I don't, I don't wanna have to use priority push to talk, but no, Rem, I'm going to make, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, yeah, I, no, Rem, I'm in a yeah. private call because I use the fucking voice widgets, okay? If you no, no, watch, yeah, voice, if you, if you, or sorry, yeah, you're right, but, if you, watch, if, you watch, if you watch, if you watch, if you watch, if you watch, Ram, oh my fucking God, you're so infuriating. Just shut up, okay? Now, look, the reason why I'm going for a moment into the meta, why I'm calling you a liar and why I'm pointing out your slimy tactics is because you'll sit there gradually using those little slimy tactics throughout the debate, right? You'll keep throwing out these little jabs. Why can you do it, but Ram, shut the fuck up, okay? Listen to me. Right now, the reason that I'm bringing it up is because you'll sit there throughout this whole conversation making these slimy moves. Okay, you'll sit there implying, you know, oh, ask yourself is fucking illiterate. Ask yourself this. Ask yourself that. Right. All, always trying to appeal to authority. Always trying to cast the other guys if they don't know something. And all of that is just posturing. Right. It's not actually explaining what propositions I believe that are false. Okay. The reason that I'm bringing that up is just to diffuse that tactic. Okay. If you hear Rem posture and talking shit, you should always ask yourself, okay, ask yourself, what is the actual proposition that he's saying the other guy believes that's false? Okay, so I'm just diffusing that tactic by pointing out that I don't care about your little appeals to authority, etc. I care if you can show that I believe something that is false. Okay, now the third topic was just the dog whistle thing, and I'm sure you can agree about this, okay? I went and looked up the term after, and it does have uh, connotations of there's like bigotry or something about it when you say dog whistle. Now this was- Wait, are we still going? Yeah, now this was obviously just a completely 
what like i mean it's a slightly different topic but obviously this is just wait oh are you saying that because you had me muted when i explained that no i did not have you muted are you lying i'm not lying i did not have you muted i promise if you're lying that's very very fucking shitty behavior dude i i did I'm, not mute you Okay, well, I'm just going to repeat what I said in case you did, okay? So all okay. I pointed out is that what you will do throughout the conversation is you'll say little things, to, and it, they gradually add up they, they, to try to gradually build this image that the other guy is fucking stupid, right? Now, I ignore these a lot of the time, but when you do it enough times, I just get infuriated and I have to say something about it, okay? You try to go, you know, imply, oh, you haven't read this, you don't understand this, you don't understand that, but they're all just cheap shots and all they're geared towards doing is making it seem like you have deeper knowledge than the other person it doesn't actually mean that you're explaining anything false that they think so whenever you guys hear rem do that just ask yourself what is he actually saying the other guy believes that's false that's all i wanted to say okay and please stop doing that shit and let's just talk so if you're allowed to derail can i say something about your behavior yeah sure go ahead well it's not about your behavior but i seriously i just wanted to ask you in philosophy of language as you've gone back to university for philosophy, haven't you? No, I'm not in university right now. I'm upgrading courses and going into university. Are you going to take philosophy? Yeah, I am going to take some philosophy. Which area are you going to... Well, I mean, I'm just going to... Well, okay, so I have a big interest in logic, obviously. I wanted to go to... Well, we're going to get derailed. I wanted to go to U of T because they have so much good logic there, but the living cost is just insane. So what I think I'm going to do out here is philosophy... I go math. to U of T. You go to U of T? Yeah, well, they yes, have... I do. I, 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 I specialize in philosophy of logic and philosophy of language with the professors here. Right. So, but you see, you see what you're doing right now. That is a little REM cheap shot, right? Maybe I should just call them out when you do them. That's what we'll do from now on. Okay. So what you're doing is just implying, right? You're trying to cast an image of ask yourself as an idiot. And I am a respectable intellectual who is involved no, no, with no, no, professors. No, no. Can oh. I explain why I made that comment? Because I can understand yeah, why you, you, can, you can explain that. Sure. I respond specifically to a comment that you made in a video where you said that I probably have never even taken a logic course before and I've only ever taken philosophy 101. That is why I made that comment. I don't think I said anything about philosophy oh, 101, but yes, I did. did. I, oh, yeah, you implied that I've never really taken a real philosophy logic course. I don't I don't think I, 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 well, I now I, I highly doubt I said that about philosophy because I've known you're a philosophy student for a long time. I think I did say that about logic because of something you said. I don't remember what it was, but I understand right, that you've taken even though that's courses. the area that I study. Yeah, but I can That's just. Why I made that uh, yeah, but yeah, but if I say something false, right? If I say like I don't think this guy's ever taken logic, and you say, you know, I've actually taken a bunch of logic courses, they'll just say that was wrong, right? Some of us can so just don't, admit. So don't do that as posturing. Do that as me. I'm getting a little bit of revenge for a comment that I think was very unfair to make. Um, I don't know. I mean, I view it as revenge instead of posturing. I guess we'll just see how many times you do that kind of stuff throughout the conversation, right? Okay. Okay. So let's continue. All right. So. We've been through, what, two things now. So the first thing was just about etiquette, okay? So all I was saying is I try to talk to someone if I can before making videos, and if we can't, you know, if we can't get agreement, then I make a video. I would ask you to do the same, you don't have to. The second thing was just about the contradiction. We understand that the actual literal written word is a contradiction. You think that I'm interpreting it robotically, I don't, okay? okay. And then the third thing is just this dog whistle term. Uh, I think that, like, surely this isn't going to be a fucking battle, I hope to God, okay? You said that that term has no connotations about, like, bigotry or, like, racism or whatever. What term? The term dog whistle. I looked it up after, it does. Like, you can find tons of definitions that make Wait, reference to I have no idea what stuff. you're talking about right now. It's just a little point. It's just a little no, thing no, that was point. No, no, what point? When? I, 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 I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Oh, sometime in the last conversation we had, um, you uh, you used the term dog whistle, and I objected to it and said, like, you're implying weird things about me. And I think you just didn't know that the word has those, like, connotations. And we kind of disagreed, and I said I'd look it up. So I, I did. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can barely remember last week. I have no idea. Okay, but, like, we understand that term does have those kind of connotations, or do, do we can dictionary it fast if we want to, but surely we understand that, right? Uh, okay. Okay. All right, so what is it that you actually disagree with me about? Because so far... Oh, 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 and there's one other thing. This, sorry, one other I want to clear up. Now, that last discussion we had, you've been sort of, like, lording this around as if you, like, destroyed me and converted my... Uh, changed my beliefs, right? I want you to tell me, because I'm not aware of a single belief that was changed in that conversation, 
What proposition do you think that I changed my attitude about during that conversation? Well, it's not really a proposition, but it's a general metaphilosophical view Ooh. that... Sorry, let me clarify. Right. So I'm asking what belief I changed, right? So I just take a belief to be a propositional attitude. Do you have pro a problem with that understanding of a belief? Yeah, because when we're operating in such of like a high, because I mean, it, there's no, you're, you're assuming a very specific concept of belief, but when we're dealing in meta philosophy, we sort of have to throw all that out and it has to become sort of more informal and it's just general methodological attitudes. Uh, towards philosophy that we discussed. So it's, Wait, it's a bit strange. Okay, well, let's just be clear. Is there actually a proposition that I changed my attitude towards that you can cite? I just explained to you why that doesn't make sense. Oh, I just want you to answer it. Just give an answer. I, how can I answer a meaningless question? You think it's a meaningless question? Uh, well, yeah, because I, I, and I just explained. Do you, wait, to do you why. not? Do you not? Sorry. Well, how can, can you, you explain to me? Wait, how can? Just, 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 how? Wait, wait, wait no, 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 because you're because you're not answering, Rem. You can ask me after you answer. I hate when you try to do that. Like, just answer and then ask your shit. Okay. Is can you actually point to any proposition that I changed my attitude about from that conversation? It's a. It's again. It's like asking me. Can our, you just answer? This is so unfair. Give your That's clarification so after you answer. No, but what, th look, this is what look, I don't I just, like. just, just, because just, you try to do all oh these gotchas. God. Why can't we have a silly Rem, I, I'm happy with you taking your time to explain your answer after. I just want you to start with a straightforward yes or no answer, okay? Some is, answers don't have a yes or no question. You, you don't think that you can tell me if you're aware of a proposition Correct. that I changed my attitude about? You're Correct, like because yeah, so and, you're you're and not I can, and I explain why, right? Can I explain wait, why? No, no, no. I want to talk about that for a second. So that's what I'm trying to do because you're at, you're like oh no no, you no so just wait to you why. just oh you're so annoying, dude. Just stop. Fuck. Now look, just answer clearly, okay? Are you aware, yes or no, of a proposition that I changed my attitude towards in that conversation? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. That's a fine answer. Now, did you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, because it's sort of a meaningless question. Because when we're talking about meta philosophy, you come in with a very specific notion of propositional content and of what it means for something to be a belief. I didn't talk oh, about pro I didn't talk about content at all. I just said that beliefs are propositional attitudes. I didn't even talk about content. Right. So the content of a belief would be the propositional attitude. That's what I mean. Okay. And so at the end of the day, because we are wait, discussing wait, the con the content oh. of the belief would be the propositional attitude. No, that's not the content of it. That is what I'm taking the belief to be. A belief is a propositional attitude. It's not that the content of a belief is a propositional right, so attitude. That that would that would be that would be saying that the content of a belief is a belief. If propositional attitude means belief, then saying the content of a of a proposition of a belief is a propositional attitude is just saying the content of a belief is a belief, which would be okay. stupid, right? I think we're we're having a semantic confusion over what I mean by content. But setting that aside, okay, because we're at such an abstracted level of discussion in this metaphilosophical territory, I don't want to, you know, go use a very specific fine tune definition of proposition <clears throat> or whatnot when it's just not uh, conductive to the conversation when we can talk more broadly about a methodological attitude towards philosophy itself so right okay now you've you've granted that you're not aware of any proposition that i changed my attitude towards are you aware of well, any attitude change of any type that took place oh sure i added what do you mean by attitude like met methodological I'm, 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 approach. Look, I'm just, it's like, if you say that I've changed my mind about something, I just take it to yes. be that there's, like, I don't know what that could mean, except that there's some proposition that I used to have one attitude towards, and now I have a different attitude towards it. I don't know what else it could mean to change my mind or to have a belief changed. Well, no, so again, it's a, it's a change in method. Well, no, because there are some changes that someone undergoes that aren't necessarily changes in propositional attitudes i think but right so there's no change in belief there's a change in methodology is that what you're saying right in a, okay and in what's the change that i've made in approach right and so you originally had this sort of axiomatic approach to all the philosophy that these I, things are i don't think i i don't think i was talking in that conversation i'm talking about in the course of the last conversation i had with you right yes and yes and so um you view things as well they're just ultimately all that matters is this sort of logical axiomatic structure that that's what? where everything what, what do you mean 
What, that's a weird thing. All that matters is this logical axiomatic structure. That doesn't sound like a thing I would say. You try to paint philosophy as just a, uh, as a system of, log or of logical axioms from which everything else is Dude, necessarily going to follow. I, I'm not clear about how exactly I do that. I think that there are things that we believe that we don't like. I don't know that I can like justify all of my beliefs. Like there's certain things that I just seem to believe and I can't really give you a good reason for it. I'm sorry. I'm so can you re-explain? Because remember, you would always say, well, "Well, that's just an axiom in my thing, system." Well, the thing that well, that's wait, what you'd wait, say you, all wait, the fucking but, time. But I don't want to. I don't want to move off of the point. We can talk about whatever it is in a second. So, well, it's I'm not. not I, so I it's not. It's not that I've. That so it's not had. that I've actually changed my attitude towards any proposition. You think that I? It's not changed, proposition. What? I'm not talking about propositions. I said that. Okay, well, it's not that. It's, sorry, but well, I mean, look, I just take beliefs to be propositional attitudes. I don't know what else you'd. I'm mean not by talking belief, about beliefs but, either. Okay, well, look, if you grant that I haven't changed any beliefs, and you're saying that I changed some methodology thing, I don't really know what that is and how it could not involve a belief change. But yeah, I, I don't know what you think you've exactly changed my mind about on during that conversation. Also, you attitudes aren't necessarily beliefs. What I didn't know, I didn't say I didn't say attitudes are beliefs. I said proposi a propositional attitudes, so like an attitude of truth or falsity towards some proposition. I take that to be a belief. Okay. But right, I don't I don't not, take the attitude that's not all of, the things of like that can be changed in someone's mind. It, yeah, I mean there's obviously other things going on in a mind than beliefs. Why like what's the I'm I look so I'm not clear like what a you think. Methodological approach. And some somehow that's not made up of beliefs. So what like I mean approach yeah like it sounds like a very vague thing to say you've changed my mind about I'm not clear why like I just don't understand what you think you changed my mind about can you just give me I, that's what I, that's what I was trying to explain here, to you. here this is let's just let's do it like this okay my task for you after this stream is just to cite me something that I say in that conversation and then some and then where I later on say okay I don't believe that anymore would, so would you, you be able would, to do are you that? An episode, do you believe that there are certain because maybe maybe I was mistaken, right? So let let's get to the root of this. Do you believe, okay, that that epistemic statements have a have a necessary truth value? Um, well, when we got into all that language, it seemed like you thought I was an epistemic realist in virtue of saying that I doubt that we can perceive atemporally, right? So if that if that belief tells you what you need to know, then I have that belief. Oh, I see. Right, because the thing that frustrated so me is... you are an anti-realist. Well, I, you use... So why are you getting mad what, at me well, framing wait, you as such on Destiny's what, stream? Wait, 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 one, se one second. That's, one second. That's going to go into another topic. So just to be clear, like, when you say, like, you change this or that, like, I have no problem changing my mind, okay? If you go look at, like, even the Info channel, I have corrections in there, and I even credit the people who have you know said things the you've way, changed your yeah. mind five i looked at them. no you the, five yeah, the, changes w w wait yeah but those it's not that i've only changed my mind five times it's that if it's a thing that i've said publicly if i've like spread it around then i had a correction there if i change my mind in private about something i haven't talked about it doesn't like you know i don't necessarily post a correction but the point i'm making is just you know i'm happy to make a correction but i just don't like it when you go around f making this framing like you know i've like changed ask yourself and it's like i'm just have no idea what you're talking about like, i don't know what you think you've changed well again i thought that like you were, no, i thought that in that discussion you were acknowledging that there are certain necessary conditions for a human experience well what i um, granted what i granted i was very careful about what i granted i granted that i don't think that we can perceive atemporally that's what i said and you took that to mean that i'm an epistemic realist now i don't care about how you use the language if if you think that qualifies me as an epistemic realist then fine well no um, do you believe but, that that is true or false uh, do you think that that is a true or false statement yeah it's a proposition of course it has a fucking truth value no i'm asking is it a true statement that wait are you talking about the statement i am uh, i don't believe that um we can perceive a no that do you think that it is a necessary condition of the human experience that we perceive a temporally and all you mean by necessary condition is that we can't do otherwise as human being well that's the only that's the only thing that matters yeah i i i really doubt that we can perceive a temporally but do you why, think do you think why there are you is... doing these doubts what it's a 
it's an if because, I'm because, I, I, would, because I, I wouldn't because I'm not convinced that you know I don't know how I would argue that we can't I just uh, I just you know I can't picture how we could I don't have the belief that we could it seems fucking unlikely seems like things are pretty temporal around here well I but okay so so you're open to the possibility that we could well I mean I, yeah I can't think of like I mean I'm, I'm kind of open to all possibilities like I mean it's okay, just there's then. some there's some that I can't comprehend. Like if you tell me there's a square circle, it's like you know maybe somehow there's a square circle, but I can't even understand what you're talking about when you say square circle. Um, and if you talk about perceiving atemporally, it's like in a similar category. Like I can't picture what the fuck you mean by that. But well, it's not about picturing. It's about the logical possibility of doing so, or sorry, epistemic possibility of doing. But so. but just just to be clear, just because I'd like to get into actually talking about this, but just to clear up this thing about mind changing. So the thing I didn't like is you seem to take it like I had changed my attitude about whether we can perceive things atemporally. Yes. Well, there, there was never... Well, no, 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 no. Th again, this is what I was talking about, the methodological change. Because I believe that you had this view, and maybe you didn't, but this is how I and everyone that I talked to, um, like Destiny also thought this was your belief as far as I know, that basically all of the, all of the beliefs or... Uh, truths that we have are going to be relative to one's given system. So saying that it is necessary that we perceive a temporally, well, the truth or falsity of that is just going to be dependent upon what axiom is in my system. And it's just as possible that someone else has the axiom that you, that isn't a necessary condition. Well, someone could and, someone could say that. I don't know what the fuck they'd be. But does it though. actually reflect their cognition? I highly doubt it, unless there's some like transcended being or something. And so if you are denying that you ever believed that. Yeah, I never had a belief that people could perceive atemporally. Not, it's pretty, but pretty atemporally obvious, is yeah. just a, is a specific example. But so you acknowledge that there are necessary conditions for human experience that are immutable. And they there, are. There are ways that I can't picture human experience not being. I can't picture us, for example, perceiving Why, I'm not talking about picture. I'm not talking about, I, I'm talking about, you know, a pure, um, it's not about picturing, really. I'm not sure exactly well, what you mean but, by Well, that. okay, so I think prior to saying if something is possible or not, I have to kind of like have some idea what it's even talking about, right? And if I can't even get in my head like what the concept is, it's hard for me to say that I think that it's like true or false or possible or impossible or something like this. So if you oh, talk so about- so you don't mean picture like a mental image though. You mean no, it more broadly, no, I just, I just, I mean like understand. Like if you Got say, it. if okay. you say there yes. are square circles, or I'm perceiving a temporally right now, or something, it's like, I mean, I don't know what the fuck you mean, right? And there's never, there's never a point where I thought there were square circles, or that people can perceive a temporally. So, you know, I just don't know. I'm not sure what the attitude change is supposed to be. Uh, well, the attitude change was your acknowledgement, or for, this was my belief that you believe that you know there ultimately were no, in a sense, necessary truth. Do you right? think? This, well, wait, but the only thing that I granted is that I don't think we can perceive a temporally, and that's something that I always believed. So you right? don't There's, believe that there are necessary truths? Yes. Or, answer this question: Yes or no, with no preface, like you do with me. There are necessary truths. Necessary there means true in all possible worlds. Uh, okay, I'll reframe it so we don't bring the concept of truth. It is necessary that human beings or, uh, experience the world in a certain way. There are, there are necessary conditions of the human experience that are impossible to be otherwise. Yes or no? Does it, well, sorry to be annoying. Does impossible there refer to logical possibility? No, epistemic possibility. Um, we'd have to get into a whole thing about epistemic possibility for me to answer that. Do we want to do that? Here, let's move well, off at I, this point so you can go to that if that's what you want to talk about. Just with respect to the belief change, let's just we'll just say where we're at, okay? So we're not aware of some um, some you know proposition that I changed my attitude towards. You think there's been some kind of change in methodological attitude, methodological, whatever exactly? Because and I, and I, is, I, right? And, and I now, explained to you the now, yeah. Now I'm not I'm not aware of what that change is. I'm not convinced of that, but I feel like we don't want to get hung up forever on it. So we'll just kind of like we did with the others, we'll just leave it at you know. You claim there's a methodological change. I'm not sure what it is. Sure. Okay. So yes okay. or no. 
Well, you uh, you cut out. A ask your thing. But then after this, what I want to do is I want to go to what actual propositions you think I believe that are false. Oh, okay. So yes or no, there are necessary epistemic conditions for humanity. Yes or no? I have to ask about what that means. No, just answer the question. I, I'm incapable because I don't understand it. Ugh. There well, are necessary ways that human beings experience the world, and, and there's no other way that, that they could. And by Answer the could, well, that, but there's things I need to clarify about the question, right? I'm not trying to get away from why the am question. I, why am I not allowed to clarify the question with you? Clar clarifying the question is fine. Asking unrelated questions is what bothers me. But no, but the qu this is my issue with you. It's because you'll do this with me, and no, I will try to go into only if you try. Yeah, only what only if you're you talking about. Okay, only if you try to go into something that I can't see how it's related. But I never right? do. But I okay, just let's but just stand. Then I'll let's explain you're, to you how you're it's related. So you're, you're the one going off point right now. Right now, I'm trying to answer. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to answer. To your, so we can don't have you a want me to answer discussion. your question? I'm trying to answer. Absolutely. Your, but okay, I, I, but I'm I need to understand to what the words in the question point. mean. I okay, just, yeah. and I will absolutely. But I just want so in the future when you give me those yes or no questions, allow me to say something other than yes or no. If, and if you believe I'm if, trying to get, if, if you yeah. believe I'm getting off topic, I will explain to you why I am not. Yeah, okay? but the explanation ha the explanation has to come in the form of why the question uh, that you're asking needs to be right. answered in order for you to understand the question that's on it, the table. And that's what I've tried to do, but you just keep yelling at me. Okay, well, if if you're trying to do that, just make that clear to me, right? Because if I think I that you're, tried. yeah, because if, if <laughs> I, I because if I can't, because if I can't see what you're actually getting at, I'm probably just going to register it as rambling. But if you say, look, okay, I want to answer your question. I can't answer that because I'm not clear about what this word means, right? Of course, I'm going to humor that, right? So if you ever, if you ever want my patience, just make it clear how you're staying on point, right? That that will always diffuse an angry Isaac. Now well, you're I asking try me to do it, right? But then well, you scream I've, I've, at I've me. Just, I've just told you how to do it, right? Because well, however, but I how, did exactly what you described. Uh, I, I don't know if you did exactly that. You're asserting that, like you always, you always kind of assert things, but you know, I don't know if that's actually the. Why case, do you think right? I would preface things before the yes or no answer? I think that when I look, as long as we're in agreement, what do you think it's just, it's just the thing is, it's like I don't even know what you're trying to get out of me right now. Like what, like what are you? I'm trying, trying to, to, I'm trying to make it so that in the future you're not going to do the bullshit with me again. I don't think I'm doing the bullshit with you at all. If I'm trying to get an answer from you and you're not answering, I will become frustrated. Now, if you think that there's something that needs to be addressed in order for you to answer the question, just yes. make it just make it clear that that's what you're doing. Now, that's if, what I try now, to do, though. If, now, if you claim that is what you were doing before, that's not how it registered to me. It could be that's what you're doing, but that's certainly not how it registered. If okay, you want well, it so to, now if we're you aware, want it, and now we you, can yeah. both be more aware of it. Right, okay. right. And if you want it to register for sure, just say okay. it explicitly. Yeah. Okay. 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 So yes or no? Although you want me. So do you believe that we as human beings, okay, mm -hmm. there is there are necessary ways that we have to experience the world. So let me give you a Kantian example. Okay, space is something that is not external to us. It's not an external object that we intuit. Uh, instead, it is something that we, in a sense, impose upon the external world. Well, wait, can we, for the sake of clarity, stick to I'm the... Just, that's an example. We don't have to... Yeah, for, but for the uh, sake of clarity, I'm... let's do the example that we've gotten comfortable with, right? So we have well, the example Well, temporally of... is more difficult. It's a more difficult I, example I, I find that space. I find that straightforward. Like, I mean... Well, I, okay, I know... but if we stop finding it straightforward, let's just go to the space one, because okay. I, I personally think it's okay. more easily intuitable. All right, sure. Well, or, I mean, I, I don't know what else you want to say. Like, perceiving what, things, like, in accord with, like, the law of identity, that would be another one I would understand. The yes, that would be another one. Okay, well, that's yes. that's fine also. The space one is a little weird for me, but we, let's not get into that. Right? I think so... the space one's actually the most... Uh... Okay, well, it, look, most... if it's if it's fruitful, we can talk about it. Okay, and I'm so, not, I'm not, okay. I, I'm this, trying to answer look, your This question. is just my path. Yeah. No, no, I know, no, but so look, now that we're like calm here, right? Like, this is not me trying to posture, right? I don't think, no, I don't think you're trying to posture right no, now. No, 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 I no, didn't no, say no, I'm about to say something. I'm about to say something that you might perceive as posturing, but it's really just my passion for philosophy, okay? I really think you should recon because it's really fucking good, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, no, generally, no, and no. everyone watching, even ask yourselves, viewers, okay? I really encourage it. It's really good stuff. Okay. 
All right. Okay. So, okay. Rem. That wasn't. I wasn't trying to pause. No, there. that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Now okay. you're asking me if I think that there are necessary conditions for human experience. Okay. One of those conditions we're going to say is you know perceiving temporally or perceiving in line with the law of identity. Now, when you say necessary, you're telling me you're not referring to as something that's true in all possible worlds. You're you're talking about some other the notion issue... of necessity. So, but yeah, so the issue with that notion of, of I don't care about the issue. That, that's fine. You don't even need to explain the issue. Just tell me what you mean when you say it. Well, no, but I, well, no. So the issue is, is, uh, honestly, I, I, I'm not even sure how to, to really, I mean, I'm sure we could find another philosopher who could better answer it, but specifically with Kant, because I'm working within that, that framework, right? I don't know if we can talk about necessary in all possible world, because then we get into the issue of, well, we're talking like what is the I didn't say, I didn't say necessary in all possible worlds. I, I was just defining necessity as something that's true in true all possible, in all possible yeah. worlds, right? But the issue you see the issue with bringing in possible worlds into like such a foundational question, right? Because then all of a sudden we might be bringing in a, an entire ontological concept that we don't even want to talk about in the first place. There, um, there may or may not be an issue. I'm not entirely clear, but it does. It right, and I'm not. I, either, like, I'll, I'm I'll, not I'll just, I just want yeah. prefacing that. Yeah. Okay, but that that's fine. I mean, sure. But so, what do you mean? But when you say, okay, let's yeah. do let's let's say that then. Okay, let's say that, but with that qualification that perhaps that might not be a, a charitable way to yeah. so, ascribe okay, necessity to okay. him. But let's operate yeah. under that. So so with that, no, I'm, I'm not convinced that it's true in all possible worlds that humans perceive um, uh, temporally. Because then I have to, to say that, I'd have to be able to show that the claim that they can perceive atemporally yields a contradiction. And I'm not aware of how to do that. If there's a way to do that, then I'll grant you the claim for sure that the, specifically the claim that um, it's uh, it's necessary, it's true in all possible worlds that humans perceive temporally. If you show me that the denial of that yields a contradiction, then I would certainly grant that. But currently I'm not aware of how it Oh, actually, you one. know what? I, yes, I actually understand why you can't frame it like this. That this this is what I, right, okay, my bad. Sorry, we, okay. can invoke, we cannot invoke possible worlds. And I've just realized why through that answer. That's it fine. is quite literally because when you bring in possible worlds, you're doing the very thing that Kant doesn't allow for, which is, in a sense, allowing the human cognition to go beyond the bounds of their own experience in this actual world. Um, so to bring in the notion of possible worlds is to invoke some sort of ontological claim that we really can't know for certain until we've done this epistemic project in the first place. Well, that, that's fine. So if, if, you, if you have a different... Uh, notion of necessity that you want to use then you know just present it if I can understand it then I can you know tell you if I think that uh, temporal perception is necessary um, well let's not do temporal perception Let, let's do the, the identity the, sure I don't, yeah, I yeah. Think the principle of, so there you go that one from the standpoint of ourselves right now in this moment it is quite literally impossible to go beyond our experience and mm -hmm. and Make, ultimately this is what i'll say is that and actually this this is a even for my listener because i i've been trying to work out because this is obviously a difficult subject right um so the best way i think to communicate this is that when i'm talking about necessity right th this is why necessity i don't think can be defined with regards to possible worlds because necessity is going to be something always in a sense confined at least for kant confined to our own individual standpoint at this very moment in time, okay? So when I, for example, say I necessarily interpret the world temporally, uh, that is basically saying that within my experience, there is no other way under which I could perceive the world. Because to say otherwise is in a sense to divorce myself from the human standpoint and make claims about the world that I can ultimately not know because we are we are finite beings, right? Um, and I think that's even better with something like the principle of contradiction <clears throat> to say that it is necessary that I, from the human standpoint, must interpret the world uh, utilizing the principle of contradiction. So I can't see something that is both red and not red. Um, is simply to say that uh, it's necessarily the case because I can't ever go beyond it in the first place. Um, so invoking the notion of possible worlds is in a sense violating. Yeah, well, I, I hear that you don't want to talk about the possible worlds. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just asking. Well, like, no, but that, that's in a sense trying to explain to you what I mean by necessary. Is that yeah, just a, de a definition would be easiest for me though, if you just give a definition. 
What does like what does it mean to say something is ne it's necessary if and only if? Um. Mm. That's fine. You can take your time. I mean, we don't even have to necessarily you. Oh, that's funny you're saying necessarily. I don't think we even <laughs> need to necessarily bring in the word necessary into the. That's that's fine. Then just rephrase the initial question without discussion. necessary. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to be streamlined. That's fine. If you if that word's problematic, just rephrase the initial question without necessary. Here's one. To suggest or contemplate the possible, or not, I can't, to suggest or contemplate an, a, a human's ability to interpret the world atemporally is meaningless. Perhaps that is a better um, uh, way to and go about it. I, I take meaningless there to basically mean like, like inconceptualizable. Yeah, I think that would be the best way. It, we can never have any sort of. We, but we can't really say anything about it because it is, in a sense, beyond anything so, we can ever know. So I am I can say something close to that. I can't understand what it would mean to perceive atemporally, but right. I don't know if I can establish that it is meaningless just in virtue of the fact that I can't understand what it would mean. Well, I, well, well, I mean, that's ultimately... Well, meaning is going to be defined relative to uh, linguistic yeah, meaning. If you, right? if, you want, if you want to make that move and you want to just say that it's meaningless um you know if and only if you can't um you can't understand, understand the it. meaning then uh, yeah then yep. that okay and then that would mean that all all we're saying when you're asking me uh is it meaningless to say that we can perceive a temporally you're asking me do, can i understand what is even meant by saying i can perceive a temporally no i i can't understand what that would mean right okay then yeah you are under my notion a an epistemic realist um, okay, but believe... but yep, but and now just a tiny point. So if mm. you want to say by your notion, right, uh, that I'm an epistemic realist, like I, when people ha say their notion, I don't care if it's the standard notion. I don't care if it's theirs. I just care about if it's coherent. But you don't think that I've changed a belief there, right? You don't think that there is some point where I thought that people could like, you know, perceive a temporally or like perceive like without the law of identity or something like this, uh, like obviously, right? Well, I was trying to, the, the previous perception Cause it's, that it I just, had It just seems you. like what you're, you, sorry, you can say that, but it just seems like what you're doing is you clarify what I actually think there and then you categorize right. me appropriately. Yes, perhaps, yes. Okay, all right. Because of, but, but I, I think this uh, yeah. is ultimately an issue with philosophical terminology and this is something I've realized because I, I wrote this post and that video like I don't know over a year ago now right so um, I've realized that the people I'm discussing with and again this is not me trying to posture but I'm operating under notions of terminology that are used within the philosophical community right so when you use yeah. like the term axiom like you used to what? I ascribe to you yeah. I, I do still I do still use the term like I would just refer to something as kind of axiomatic if I like you know accept it and don't really have like a justification for it. Um, but you don't believe that the human experience is axiomatic. I don't even know what that means. What, is it, that, what does that even mean? The, the, like this statement, it, it's not an assumption that I have. It's, what I, statement? I don't, like for the the statement that I can't perceive a temper. Sorry, that's there, not there's a also, mere there's assumption. There's also one thing I want to say about the terminology. I, I will answer that. But um, if it do, like the easiest way to have the discussion is with the terminology. So when you want to introduce terminology, just type it or something in realm of ay, and we can refer back to it. We can add whatever terminology is necessary. I'm sure I can understand the meaning of words. What was it that you asked there? Um, that you don't believe that the statement that. Um, the world uh, or the human cannot perceive or I as a human cannot perceive um, a temporally is merely an assumption. Um, an assumption. Um, well, wait, it's something I mean, more than just an assumption. It's well, are you trying to ask me? Because like, the thing is, there's some truth value to that, right? Like, it seems like there's a fact of the matter. But you know, I don't Well, I mean, truth doesn't necessarily have to be fact of the matter. But, well, okay, I guess it depends what you mean by truth. So, right. so I, mean, I don't but know I'd if I'm properly... Any okay. truth. So I just want to make sure I'm understanding what you're asking. So can you just repeat the question again? Do you believe that the statement that I as a human can perceive only uh, a temporally, or only temporally, rather, is a mere assumption? It's nothing more than an assumption. A mere assumption. So something that we're taking to be the case without justification. Com yes, exactly. Um... I mean, possibly. Like, what's the justification for it? 
well, the justification is the fact that the other that otherwise it's a meaningless the the opposite of that is meaningless so right, we're always you, confined so, within the human so experience. So just to be clear, you consider a proposition or a belief, sorry, you consider a belief justified if you can't conceptualize, because that's what meaning meant, right? You can't conceptualize the contrary. Right. Okay. Well, so... it, it's it's not necessarily, I mean, obviously at this level, we are using all these epistemic, this is what makes this kind of investigation so difficult, is that it's hard to lay down these types of definitions because like when we're trying to figure out what truth means right it's always working within this sort of very fuzzy um very um vague notion because we can't seem to employ a lot of the notions that we wanted to before because they are usually defined in terms of truth right so yeah, that's why this I, discussion is a bit vague but that's a necessary yeah. fact of the matter yeah um, I, I understand that you think that this kind of discussion is somehow like prior to a lot of concepts and using those concepts begs the question for certain like right i don't know like frameworks of fucking i don't know like metaphysics or some shit but let's let's just be clear about okay so let's just be clear about what what it is you're asking me so you asked if um what was it about perceiving a temporally do i think that that this, just ask it how you asked it again like maybe right. i'll write it down do you believe that that statement is just a mere assumption and by assumption we okay and uh, oh yeah so okay it let's just, just let's, as, sorry it's just one. it's just as one, valid one second just let me write it out okay. so the statement is um i can perceive a temporally or i can't uh, as a human, I cannot perceive a temp. Okay, as a human, I can't perceive a temporally. Okay, so now you're asking me. Oh, that didn't spell it right. You're asking me what about that? Do you believe that that is a mere assumption? You're asking. Okay, is that an assumption? And, a mere assumption. Uh, um, um, is does is mere meaningful there? Yeah, absolutely. Because that saying that it's a mere means that it's nothing else besides an assumption. Okay. Um, I mean, well, it's hard for anything to be just an assumption. Surely there's, it's also like, it's like language and it's other, like that seems like a weird way to, whatever. Okay. So, but you're basically asking, is it an assumption? And so we're going to say it's an assumption if it lacks justification. Is that like what you're kind of working with? Or do you have some other notion of assumption? Sure. We can go with that for now. Well, I'm trying to answer how you want it. Is that how you're thinking about it? If you're talking, you're uh, silent. No, I'm, I'm just thinking about. Oh yeah, take your time. No worries. That it's if it's just. Well, I'm not. I'm not we despite, recognize despite, that it's despite your despite your like you know protestations to the contrary. Like I'm not looking for a gotcha. If if we get to a dead end I here, well, and, look, and you, I wait think a second. We were earlier. Wait, or, oh, earlier I absolutely was with the contradiction thing, but I'm not right now. If we get to a point with something like this where uh, you just realize that word's like biting you in the ass and there's some, some fucking problem with it, but you think that you can like adjust what you said to make it work. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you had to change the word. Like, yeah, just change it later if you need to. But yeah, so we're gonna say it's an assumption if and only if it's, uh, you know, a belief lacking justification. Oh, did you, sorry, did you just admit that all you were trying to do was a gotcha with the contradiction thing? By a gotcha, uh, if you mean pointing out, like like trying to really clearly say you made an error here, that's what I was trying to do there, yeah. So there was no charitability involved there? Um, I think I was charitable when I said, when I summarized How... everything by, by saying, so... What do you mean by a gotcha? Um, I mean, I just... Your some, entire some intent point, in that some, conversation some was that... literally just to prove me wrong. Yeah, I wanted to show that what you said about that was wrong. So anything that I said to you would not have changed your mind. Uh, that's wait, wait. Why does that follow? Well, so, because so if, wait, if wait, wait, are, wait. There's an implication there. If you're there. Gotchas, there's usually the connotation that you were not being charitable. No, I, I wouldn't say that. Wait, but now wait. You just changed the language to charitable. Before you said there's nothing that I could say that would change your mind or something like that. So I, I know, like right? That, because I don't yes, think because that. you are in that state of being so uncharitable that you're just you're purely targeting well, look, trying now, to get you now, to admit a see, contradiction. See, the thing is, like you're now we're getting into the psychology of me. So like the quick the quick answer is what I was doing is I think you said something wrong and I just wanted to point it out. 
right? And when you tried to make moves to get away from it, I allowed them, right? When you said, well, you know, no, you actually, didn't, you screamed at me. Well, let's just think of all the things that I granted, right? So when we talked about, did you actually use the word apparently in your original tweet? I said, I don't remember. Maybe you did, and maybe you're right. There's one thing that I granted. Um, Another was uh, when I summarized the issue, I said that um, we both agree it's a contradiction under a literal interpretation and we disagree about whether the literal interpretation is reasonable, right? I think I'm being pretty fair to you. No, you weren't being fair. Okay, and I well, explained this look, to you. If, if we're, look, we're just arguing about notions of fairness and what my motivations were. I will just say, as far as I'm aware, what I was doing was trying to prove you wrong. If you showed a logical problem with what I'm saying, I absolutely would have listened to it. But yeah, I want that at that point, I had a specific point I was trying to make. And at this point in the conversation, I'm just trying to understand and answer your question. So it's a different type of thing. Surely you understand that you can be in different right, phases in a conversation. Never, never be engaged in that stupid gotcha. Wait, thing no, 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 wait, no, 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 wait, sorry, sorry. It's not, it's not a gotcha to be just playing offense, right? Like right now you're asking questions, but if I say something that you can actually deliver an argument against, presumably you'll play offense and be like, okay, well, I think what you just said there is actually false. And then you'll give me arguments against it. Yes, but so, but there's a way to have a discussion where you don't need to do that at all in the first place, where we can be more charitable to each other. Like, like, look, I don't like, think that is being me admitting to you that, well, you know, perhaps actually I misunderstood your original intention, right? I'm not pulling. Yeah, up or or me or quotes. me granting to you possibly I misread the quote, right? I look if you if you think I'm being uncharitable, then that's fine. I don't. I think that it's just a different phase in the conversation at that point. I, I think was, earlier you were, and so I'm okay, just saying well, that well, that. You, okay of, you're, that, you're that yeah, kind of, okay well your view on that that's clear my view on that's clear do we really want to spend time on that you think i'm being uncharitable i don't think i was okay we, well, like, I'm saying is in that the future, really interesting let's not let's not do that well well no i mean if there's some thing that you say and i go well wait that's a fucking contradiction it's like of course i'm gonna point that out and want to hammer the point right that doesn't mean being uncharitable as far as i'm aware but I have no problem well, you with. you were because I was trying to explain to you why it isn't strictly a contradiction. Because well, if you what you were, what sentence, you were kind of, you were kind of in, of in the context. Okay, I think you were kind of trying to, you know, do some. <laughs> some I know you believe that exactly. You were assuming the word. Yeah, well, I mean, I do, I do. That's make, why you were being uncharitable because I don't you were assuming I, I don't think I was I don't trying think to backtrack. I, I don't on grant. That. I don't grant that I was being uncharitable. But Rem, look, I understand you think I was. I don't think I was, and I think neither of us want to fucking waste our time on it. Let's just talk about the actual. Well, no, issue. I'm, I'm trying to highlight this because in the future, just try not to do that because I am not here. I, yeah, I don't grant that it's unshared. I don't see an issue with it though. So in order for me to get around to your position of don't do it, we'd have to establish that it's an issue. And it just seems like who the fuck? Like, do we really want to spend time sitting here talking? Like, it just seems like a waste of time. I just want to talk well, about. I never do that with you, right? I never uh, oh, I, hold your feet uh, to the fire. It, Oh, well, I mean, if you don't, uh, first of all, I don't know if it's true that you ever do that. I'd have to watch what you say. But um, yeah, I mean, like, I will absolutely hold someone's feet to the fire if I think they're saying something contradictory, for sure. But there's a way to express that someone is contradicting themselves. Listen to them. <sighs> we'll explain to yeah. you why you don't uh, think yeah. it was a contradiction. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, again, Rem, I don't think I was being uncharitable, but I'm trying to move the conversation along. Okay. Because where, where we get hung up is we get hung up on these things that I hate talking about. Like, I don't care if you think I'm nice. I don't care if you think I'm charitable. I don't care if you like me. I don't care about any of that. All I care about is do I actually have any false beliefs? Like that's the, so that's part of why I have so little patience on well, topics like that. That's all my biggest issue with you. Okay, well, look. My biggest can we issue talk are about, methodological can, can we talk, way about doing this. Okay, well, well, fine, good for you. But like, let's talk about the question, right? You were asking about atemporal perception. Can we talk about the actual issues? I mean, sure, but I, I feel like while we're on this topic, I mean, because we can go into this, and I mean, I don't ultimately really mind, because the reason I tweeted out all this in the first place is that I believe that you're talking, and this is my biggest issue with you, you're talking about subjects that you just don't have knowledge on, right? And you call yourself, you know, a threshold. Wait, wait, but am I saying, see, now that I think is the posturing, right? Is there something I'm saying that's false? Well, okay, so no, but again, this is the this is this is where we have a disagreement on. But you didn't on whether this is wait, legitimate but, you, or but not. you understand that you just didn't answer me, right? Just give an answer and then then say what you want to say. Do you think I'm actually saying something false? 
Um, I, well, ultimately, I, I do, at the end of the day, believe okay. that you're saying something so, false. But that is not the issue. That is not okay. the primary issue that I uh, have with you. Okay, well, well I have that, a primary yeah, issue but, with the way in which you conduct your conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Are you oh, unable oh, so, to defend so, that? So, so let, let me just be clear. I just don't care. Like, I don't care at all about something like if it's like tone policing or your interpretation of how I operate. And, like, I, I cannot even, it's like I can't even begin to convey how little I care. Like, there's probably like nothing you could ever say that would make me care. Like, I, I, I highly doubt it. Then? I think okay. I think it's about as unlikely as me perceiving atemporally. Okay, do you believe that, for example, anti-vaxxers should be seen with similar authority to scientists? Rem, I want to I, answer I, the question. Yeah. It's just a simple question. Do I? No, I don't. But I think that we're getting off okay. point. But, no, but this, but the, no, but this Look, was my primary point oh when I tweeted. So should we not talk about the point? It, no, we shouldn't. Because what I care about is if I actually. Why can we talk about what you care about, but not what I care about? Because that's what I. You I'm, took issue that, with the things because, that I said in my tweets, that's, and I want to talk about those. It, oh, if you if you look, all all I'm interested in. Is because you do, can't defend it? Is that what no, it is? No, what I, it's about what I'm actually interested in talking about. I don't care about someone talking about my attitude and then stuff Then why, are you, like why do you care take about, issue with my tweets? I care, I care about, well, okay, so I do I do find some of the shade you cast unreasonable, but just... Oh, then let's talk about that. Wait, I want, let's talk no, about that. Okay, Rem, I'm telling you that what I want to focus on is do I believe something false, okay? But that that's, is not at all what my tweets were about. Okay. But that's what I want to talk about right now. I feel like it's because the thing is, I can get. I, I'm trying. Defend, no, it's because I want to stay justice? on. It's because I want to stay on the fucking point. I didn't Rem. sign up for this conversation. I signed up. I talked. Oh, about this. okay. Well, well, here, stream, wait, 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 wait. What I want right, to talk about. Right. Right. No. No. Well, look. You're trying to have some conversation about. You know. Uh, oh, is ask yourself nice or is ask yourself charity? No, like, not about nice. I don't. I don't. Okay, well, what's the claim? But my claim, I, I can. Do you want me to even just read the very specific? Uh, no, tweets? I don't. I don't care about arguing. Look, I don't. It rem. It's just so annoying. I don't care about like. Then don't take issue is, with my tweets if you can't defend it. No, no, no. What I take issue with. Uh, okay, I hate that you're dragging me into this. I'm trying to not get then into. Don't come, then no, don't rem. You shut talk up. About it. Shut up. It's not. You that, said you wanted to talk about oh these my tweets. God, shut up. Fuck, dude. Now, just listen, okay? What bothered me about... And I'm so annoyed that you're forcing me into talking about this. Because I don't... This is not what I care about, okay? What well, bothered... The stream, what, bothered what bothered me about the... Uh, if we're going to be forced to stay on this instead of talking about if I have false beliefs, I will. But I'm just going to say something because you're trying to force the issue. And now I have to respond or else it seems like, you know, oh, I can't defend myself because Rem kept asking if I could defend myself and I tried to actually stay on point, right? So... All I would say is that the thing that annoyed me about the tweets is you were talking like my position doesn't make sense and you didn't want to actually just come and speak to me about whether my position doesn't make sense. My concern has always been about whether my position makes sense, okay? I don't care if you think I'm an asshole. I am an asshole. I fucking hate sophists. I hate people who weasel around, which I don't even necessarily like put you in that category, although you can be really fucking annoying. I don't think you're that bad. But what annoyed me about the tweets was just that you were saying that you were suggesting that I have a wrong position and you didn't want to come and discuss in it. My, okay? when, when in my tweets did I say that? <sighs> Let's go over to the tweets and look at them, okay? Yeah, because my tweets are taking specific issue with the way that you I, I'm, yourself. I'm so, I have to say, I'm so annoyed that you're- Then hang up the fucking call. Well, then hang up well, the call. Well, no, because what I my interest here is showing that you either can't show that I actually have a false- But that's not the claim that I'm making on Twitter. Oh, well, if you're not claiming I have any- Wait, but are you- I don't care about just on Twitter. I care about are you claiming that I have false beliefs? I mean, like, ultimately, at the end, but that's not what I'm okay, here to discuss, but, but, okay, it's never okay, been what I've said well, that I want okay, to discuss. Okay, well, maybe we have a mismatch. Look, I'm going to go to humor you to the tweets, okay? So you are unable to defend Re the way that you oh conduct my, yourself. Oh, my God. Is, We're, the, yes or no? Are you, are you not tracking the conversation? We're talking about the tweets, right? We're asking... You want to asking, talk about that. You, I don't want to talk You're the one who brought... Oh, my God. You're the one that controls this. Oh, my God. This is a God. give and take. I talked about what you want to talk you, you about. You said... You said... You tried to... Look, I didn't take it over to the fucking tweets you asked me oh then why are you annoyed by the tweets or something like that right and you tried to paint it as if the reason i'm annoyed by the tweets is that you're like you know saying things about my attitude or my care i don't care what is the at first all thing? about that okay okay i care what is i care first yes uh, look, i understand let me, I understand let me what find you're saying. the tweets okay just I one understand. second yes, yes. 
Okay. After starting this conversation, Here you we came go. in and you asked me three questions. Why can I not do a very similar okay, thing to you? One second. Ask yourself's threshold deontology is an Are ad you gonna hoc. Answer my question. I'm trying to answer the first fucking shit that's on the table, Rem. Okay. Ask yourself's threshold deontology is an ad hoc system that tries to yep. make him feel better and that he can't really justify any of his moral positions. Uh, it's a position considered explicitly and rejected by one single philosopher in the literature. So what I get, what if you want to know what frustrated me about that and what made me reply is that when you say words like ad hoc and make yes. him feel better and can't justify, yes. I'm just not clear that those things are true. I'm not sure that I agree with those things. And right, that's- well, Let's have a discussion about whether right, you but, have but, chosen these but ad hoc. You, un you understand that what frustrated me about the tweet was not Rem say mean thing, right? It's, it's that there's claims that are being made there about my position. That's what I care about. No, no, really what my claim here is that you can't justify shit because you have no knowledge oh, in the field. Oh, okay, wait, but what I'm talking, I'm not talking about what you ultimately mean. I'm talking, I thought we're interested in whether the thing that frustrated me about that tweet was you saying mean words. Can, can I read out my or, follow tweet that I, can I re read my reply to this? Can we just say, clarify the but point? No, no. Can we but just no, but clarify? You're reading a point that I'm not making. I make very. I'm not. I'm not. Oh my god. I'm not. The point I'm making is about how I interpreted it and what frustrated me about it. And I'm telling. Okay, and I'm telling you. That's all what I'm here to I'm talk to you about. You, so you want to talk no, about you that? The, no, you brought the conversation here, Rem, by saying. No, you're well, the it, one that replied yeah, saying, oh, "Let's debate it." Oh my no! I tried to get away from this topic so we could talk about the actual positions. For, if you have issues, you're with insane. My position, I'm you're, right here. Oh my I'll god! Oh my god! It's, in, it's sometimes you're crazy, dude. Like I just look, I don't understand. Why look, won't you discuss you, because, about look, your look? Look, uh, uh, Rem, fuck, dude. That I want to discuss about that. That's that's the actual okay. that's the actual position. But what I want to address is the slime that you kept throwing on the table and that I now have to wipe off, right? That's the slime. It's like, <clears throat> okay, well, what you said was that I, you told me something like, you know, I'm, I'm like annoyed with you talking about my character or my charitability or like one of these things about your tweets. Like, why would you be annoyed with the tweets then if it's just about your position, right? So I'm just telling you what frustrated me about the tweets, okay? What frustrated me is not Rem saying mean things. What frustrates me about the tweets is you saying that my position is wrong. But it's and I'm not, not so sorry, I, I wanna say I I I understand it's not the mean things, but I'm making a claim about what you ought to do. Look, I as do you understand are you unable to, look, do you are you do you understand? Do you yes no, no, just listen. Do you understand that what frustrated me about the tweets yes. was Yes. Right. Yes. Whether it's an accurate perception or not, the sure. thing that frustrated me about the tweets was that it seems like you're saying I'm wrong and you don't want to come discuss it. That's what frustrated me, right? Do we understand sure. that? I Okay. I understand that that is what you that now, what you've taken away from the now, tweets and what frustrates you. Can I what, say what, what frustrates what, me about your you, general conduct? Okay. Or am I unable yeah, to yeah, air my no, own frustration? Yeah, yeah. To you, you you can you can air your frustration, but before you do, this is okay. what this is what I'm going to say, okay? I am not interested in having a conversation about if I'm a nice person, about if I'm charitable. I, I, okay, because I simply don't care. I don't give a the, fuck about what, Okay, I'm not yeah, because nice I just, person. I just, I can't emphasize this enough, okay? The only thing I care about in this conversation is do I believe something false? That is the only thing I care actually, about. Actually, I do believe you. Actually, yes, you do believe something um, that is false. Okay, but you said you wanted to make some point about my well, attitude, so make your point, well, and no, then no, let's no. go I, back I to will... the actual conversation, which is what I've wanted this to do the, the entire that time. You hold, I'll say very explicitly what the belief that you hold Okay, that is actually and, be false. and before you do, you realize we're moving away from this whole thing we were trying to do in text, right? Like there's, it's, I get so cluttered, Rem, because it's like you jump all over the place and I try to go systematically, okay? I hate jumping Well, no, around. you just, you're very please, domineering please, in the conversation, please, so I feel like I can never gear stop, it. Please, please, stop, 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 fuck! Exactly, it's like, exactly what I'm talking it, about. No, it's, Rem, it's because you don't think like linearly enough. It frustrates me. I just want to stay, <laughs> exactly I just, I just want to stay, I want to stay on one fucking path. I don't want to and jump. I'm telling you, I'm not interested in this discussion. Okay, okay, just just listen. Okay, there's. Two, I want to be clear about the fucking conversation. Okay, 
One conversation we had on the table was you were trying to ask me about if I believe uh, there are necessary conditions for human experience, okay? And we're doing that in text. That's this whole I can perceive a temporally. Is that an assumption? Does assumption mean I, yeah, something I'm not unjustified? In that anymore. Okay, okay. We're dropping that. That's fine. Okay. Now, the other thing you said a second ago was that you wanted to make some statement about my character before we move on or something like that, okay? So do you yeah. want to make that statement and then we can go and talk about the actual topic, whatever well, it is? They're the same things. The no, no, thing. no. The topic is I have some prop. No, is your statement that I believe something false? Yes, but okay, but it's also sure. related to your character. Okay, what is the false belief that I have? The false belief that you hold is that you believe that you are morally okay, or you are you're morally neutral, and it's not a bad thing for you to go on your platform of thousands of people and talk about a subject that you know absolutely dog shit about. That is a belief that you hold that I believe is false. Wait, but that I'm morally okay. So yeah, I feel comfortable going on my platform and talking about what yes. topic? What's a, the topic? A, to a topic that you, like well, for that, example- that sounds, that sounds kind of like uh, loaded, but yeah, topic I know, yeah, I'm happy going on and talking about metaethics, sure. I have some views about metaethics. And do you, have you read anything in metaethics? I, ha I don't have any detailed knowledge, no. What about in just general normative ethics? Have you read any normative yeah, ethics? Yeah, I mean, I, I have, I've, I've read some basic things, Rem, but I don't have deep like knowledge. What? I don't have deep knowledge of the topics, but what I'm not interested in, which you're trying to do right now, right? I hate this about you. I can't even describe how much I hate it, okay? We're sitting here and we're supposed to be having a conversation about what do I believe that's false, right? Well, this now, is a belief that you have wait, that I believe No, no, is false. no, shut up, Rem, okay? Now, what you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get into posturing about I've read more than Isaac. I grant you that you've read more than me, okay? Not about what me, I, not about wait, me. Wait, wait, what I, what I want to know is if I believe something false. Now, the belief that you're saying I have is that it's morally okay, which all mm -hmm. I take that to mean is that I'm comfortable with or I have a preference mm -hmm. for or whatever, going on my platform and talking about something that I know nothing about. Now, yes. now, unless you're going to show me a false belief that I have in metaethics, then no, I don't grant that, okay? Unless right. I'm saying something fucking false and harmful, then no. Yeah, so you, you ultimately have this belief that you are able to, in a sense, do this and it's a morally okay thing yeah, to do. I, so I disagree wait, with no, that. No, 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 I'm, wait, so let's discuss wait, it. wait a second, wait a second. When you, you, okay, so we're talking, uh, the belief that I have is that it's, you know, it's okay to be on my platform talking about meta ethics. Now you're claiming that it's not because I have no knowledge. Now, I don't think someone mm -hmm. is, now we, let's just grant that I have no knowledge about the topic. Okay. I don't think that that makes it wrong for me to speak about something. I think Well, that, let's discuss that. Stop, That's exactly what I'd love stop, to discuss with you. Stop. Okay. Now let's just grant that. Okay. I don't think it's wrong unless I'm saying something fucking false and harmful. Okay. So what is it that I'm saying that's false? Because you well, need I disagree stop, with that. stop. I've explained to hello, you. Hello, hello, talking. Okay. Because you need to actually explain what I'm saying about meta ethics that's false for me to then have the belief that I'm saying bullshit on my channel and then possibly have the further belief that I'm doing something wrong by talking about meta ethics. So the first thing you need to establish is what I believe about meta ethics that's false that I'm no, telling you. that's people. wrong. I'm telling you, I disagree with that statement. I don't believe that in order, like I disagree that, like you could be saying all the right things, right? This is what I mean by morally lucky, right? You could be saying all the right things, but be completely unjustified in saying so. And as such, I don't believe that you should be saying it, even if it is ultimately the correct thing. Okay, so if if you're, let's just be clear. Okay, so the question you asked, you said the false belief I have is that it's morally acceptable for me to be on my channel talking about meta ethics, and the reason is because on your view, I know nothing about meta ethics. Uh -huh. Now, I don't accept that it's it's in a well. F basically, I'm firstly I'm thinking it's okay. Well, I, I'll try to be clear. So, I don't I don't have that view. I also am not, I, I think that what would be inappropriate, right? Let's just grant that I know nothing. I don't think something is, someone is wrong for talking about a topic if they know nothing about it. I think that as long as they're being rigorous and honest and they, you know, are retracting any- oh, like, They're not being rigorous. Oh, well, I'm trying my best to be rigorous in how I think. I'm trying but to But if you're being rigorous, you'd actually wait, study the subject. Wait, but this whole thing is just you posturing. Look, Rem, let me, the, the, let me, what do you mean let, by me let me make it simple, Rem. Let me make uh -huh. it simple, okay? What false belief about meta-ethics do I have? 
No, again, I disagree that in order for no, that no, original belief uh, that oh, we're talking okay. about to be wrong. Yeah, but, but can the I thing, finish? Can no, I finish no, my no, sentence? No, Look, wait, you keep one, yelling at me about second, finishing your one, sentence. So let me finish you're my sentence. so annoying, dude. Fuck. I can't finish look, my sentence. We're try, with you, let's I try. Think. Let's try to be systematic, oh Ram. God. Okay. You said right. You, the false belief is that uh, I'm comfortable being on my channel talking about meta ethics. Okay. Now I'm saying the condition where I would be uncomfortable is if you showed me that I'm saying bullshit about the topic. Okay. So if you're gonna say that there's some other prerequisite for me being uncomfortable, I'm not even aware of that. I don't think I agree with that. Okay. If you want me to agree that it's unreasonable, you need to show me false things that I'm saying, Rem. Right. So, but that's exactly what I'm trying to say to you is that I believe that just because you are saying the correct things doesn't necessarily mean that you are okay to go on to a huge platform and say it's them not, because sorry. ultimately you're not, oh, can I finish? Yes, yeah, right. Okay, Th because you are ultimately not justified in, justified in saying them. You are in a sense lucky about doing it. And if we ascribe this type of behavior to all people as we should in ethics, if we have to make it a universal universalizable law or a universalizable rule, okay, this will be uh, unethical under any popular or consistent moral theory. Okay, so what I, um, okay, so here's what I'm saying to what you're saying. You say that my false belief is that it's uh, it's fine for me to be on my channel talking about metaethics because I know nothing about metaethics apparently, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm saying that, uh, okay, so I do hold the belief that it's fine for me to be on that channel um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't, uh, now I, I don't understand why that belief would be false, that it's, it's not okay. Like, I mean, well, that, uh, I just explained that to you. Well, well, wait, wait a second. We have, we have to be clear about this. So I'm just trying to understand where the disagreement is. So let's just take a second here. So I do hold that belief that it's fine for me to be on my channel talking about meta ethics. Now you're claiming that that is a false belief. Yes. Okay, and why is that belief false? Because ultimately, if everyone were to engage, like this is a normative statement, right? You believe that you ought to be able to do this, okay? I'm saying that ultimately, no, you can't do this. Well, wait, so the belief in question is just that, you know, like I'm comfortable do, doing this, right? And I am. No, no, I'm, no, I'm talking about an ought, a moral ought, of course. I'm not yeah, saying about whether what, you're comfortable or not. Wait, That's let's, let's, write, let's write out the sentence. What's the sentence? What's uh, what's just uh, the false belief? We're gonna be systematic because if you can really defend that, I I'm saying I never have something. any issues with anyone but you with this. It's right. A very, very oh yeah, that, that I I know that I know it's because I like to be way way clearer than most people. Okay, so let's get the exact proposition that you think I believe that's false, so that we have it on the table and it's clear. Okay, what is the proposition? I ought to, I ought to be able to discuss meta ethics despite not knowing anything about meta ethics on a big platform where many people will be influenced by what I say. Despite knowing nothing about meta ethics on a, I don't even agree it's a big platform first of all, but oh, sorry, I was I was not talking. Okay, um, I think big platform is not actually like accurate. It's not that big, but. Um, it's okay. big in the sense that I mean. Okay, I ought to be able to discuss meta ethics despite knowing nothing about meta ethics on a big platform that that people will see. That's redundant. We don't fucking need that. It's just on a, on a big platform. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, d despite knowing nothing about meta ethics, yeah, I would. I mean, I don't grant that I know nothing about meta ethics. First of all, but if we um, if we assume, what like, do you know yeah, about meta ethics? I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna just encyclopedically list off my knowledge of meta ethics, Ram. If you think I believe, if you think, if you think, if you think, if you think, if you think I, if you think I believe something false about meta ethics, you can point that out. Now let's I think. think can, let's think, think about. Let's false think about. Don't have let's think about anything. this proposition. Okay, so I ought to be able to discuss meta ethics despite knowing nothing about uh, meta ethics on a big platform. Now I'm just saying I don't grant that it's a big platform, and I don't grant that I know nothing about meta ethics. I don't. I don't actually agree with those things. Well, I, so I'm going to grant them for the sake of argument. Okay, so let's grant that I know nothing, and let's grant that it's a big platform. Uh, yeah, I still think it's fine to talk about meta ethics if I'm just operating honestly and trying my best to reason on the topic. Yeah. So what's fa what's false about that, that I ought to be able to do that? It's false because it's a wrong thing to do. Okay, so all I take ought to mean is that it's in line with my preferences. Oh my god.
if you want to get around it, you can show me why I'm wrong, right? This is going to turn into the meta ethical debate. That Should I, I be able to kill anyone I want? Yes or no? Does sh what does should mean there? Are you just begging the question for realism? Because this is the topic that I'll wreck you on, basically. So let's let's get into this. So the, well, no, I just I don't. You, even feel, I just I just want. Uh, no, oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> let's let's have this discussion. So because this I I've been wanting to talk to you about this. Well, no, for no, no. A let's not get off topic here. Let's, let's no, go this, to the original this, discussion well, then. Well, wait, no, no. The, the one second. This is the big thing that you try to talk shit well, about. No, no, no. I want no, you no, want to stay on topic. We can come back to this. Wait, this back to the more realistic. No, this wait, Rem, Rem. This let's say. Look, I thought we were being linear. Let me explain why this is the topic. Okay, so the reason this is the topic is because this. This is the false belief that you claim that I have. Now, when you say it's false, you're saying because there's some other ought. Now, all I take ought to mean is something about my preferences, right? So I'm not convinced it's false. So if you want to establish that this is a false belief that I have, you can do that, or you can grant that it's not, and then we can talk about something else. Okay, so basically any, so uh, look, 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 I, I just, I want to make this, this, this very, very clear. Did, did you want um, an answer to your question though? You asked, do, you, you asked if I think that. No, no, I no, no. I just want to see if it's, okay. if it's worth really discussing this at the end of the, at the end of the day. Because oh, it is worth it. This is like the thing that, that you disagree no, with. No, it's on. not. No, okay. it's not. Because I, so I, I you mean, don't I think moral realism is the center. You, you might not be convinced of you, this. Wait, you don't right? think moral realism is like the central thing we disagree about? No, I, I I never said that. I never said that. But I just want okay. to determine if I even want to have bother having to because like for example, let us say, let me give you a hypothetical. So maybe you can understand this from my point of view, okay? Okay. Let us say, for example, that I uh I'm an anti vaxxer and I go up to a scientist. No, I'm not I'm not interested. Oh, I don't on. no, I'm hold not in, I'm that's oh, posturing. I'll, that is I'll, just that is just posturing. Rem I'm you giving said, you an analogy so that you yep. can understand my point of view. Yeah, Are you I, going I, to let me Yeah, do that I understand. No? Look, do you want me to deliver your analogy for you? Would you really want to talk to an anti-vaxxer? They're so far from comprehending the topic. They're so fucking lost in so many ways that to even give them the terminology required to have a conversation about the topic would be such an ordeal that who the fuck who actually knows about vaccination would ever want to spend their time like is that no, the point? Not. No, it's not. Really? Actually. Okay, okay. No, go isn't. ahead. I thought for I sure that's what you were going to do, but well, please go ahead. Mine, but okay. okay, okay, go ahead. Um, I will gladly go ahead. So ultimately, if you look at it from my perspective, as someone who is, for example, a moral realist, mm -hmm. why would I bother discussing the topic of moral realism with someone who is not at all familiar with the literature, has read absolutely nothing on the topic, when I could instead spend time, you know, for you know, doing like a philosophy lecture or talking to people who are familiar with the subject. So for my own moral system, why would I talk to you about this? Why would you? Well, I, I, look, if you're saying like, why should you? Again, I just take shoulds to cash out in preferences and you might not have a preference. No, to I that, understand. So. No, no, work within my system. Why would I talk to you? Why would you talk to me? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what you're like. I, I don't even know what you really think. Uh, like, w would like is that supposed to be a should? Like, would sounds like a descriptive kind of thing. I don't even know if it's I'm clear a moral about that. obligation. That yeah. Oh, so so you're asking within your system, is there some yes. should about talking to me? Yes. I have no fucking idea because I don't understand your system. Uh, under at least even utilitarianism, for example. Um, yeah, does it raise utility? Yeah, I mean, I think that it probably does. Like, if you're right about this, you're going to get it out to all of my audience. A bunch of people are going to see that I'm wrong. You know, you'll get more subs, which will let you spread more realism. Well, no, 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 because me even trying to have this conversation with you is nearly impossible. Do you do you think that, what, one second, but are do you take the view that it's like, if, if someone like, I don't know, like fucking Destiny goes on one of those crazy fucking alt-right things and just goes and wrecks those people? Do you take the view that that's actually it's like politics? A... It's different. Okay, but it'd be like me trying to explain just, like just, a really just, complicated just mathematical a... theorem okay. to someone who but, understands. But, but just just as a right. starting point, surely you grant that that's a positive thing, right? Yeah, sure, but that's politics. Yeah, I'm not I, I, un politics. I understand. I understand you think there's not a parallel, right? I'm not trying to like I I don't do shady tactics like assume there has to be a parallel just because just because, mm -hmm. right? It's like I heard you say that you that's politics so obviously in my mind I'm going he thinks there's not a parallel here okay that's fine now from my point of view it seems like the same kind of reasons apply it seems like if we're talking about is there a utilitarian reason to do it I think there probably is um, but I don't I don't really care about that if uh, 
If you think there's not, then okay. You can just do it to humor me if you want, because you know this is what's of interest to me. So if you want to do it out of courtesy and grant that there, like I don't, I don't really care about convincing you whether there's a moral reason to do it on your system. I think probably a utilitarian case could be made, but I'm not interested in arguing that. I've given a basic outline of what I think that case might look like. So how about we just have the conversation just Well, no, because I, I, I have done the thought. I have thought a lot about it, and I don't think it's worth having this type of discussion okay, with you. So just to be clear, the proposition that I believe that's false, you won't do the conversation that's necessary to explain to me why it's false. That's what Right, because saying. you don't have the oh, ground. No, that's okay. If you, if you want to say that, that's fine. Right. Because so, you do not so have there's the ground. No, right, but, have but, but I, don't have, I don't have any reason to believe that I have a false belief there if you're not going to argue with me about it. Well, pff, I mean, that, that's all fine and good, right? But you would if you were to actually read the literature. Well, look, you know, Rem, it, it looks, can I be honest about how it looks to me? I think that, I'm aware of I how think, it looks. I think that, but I have no issue yeah, with that. That's that's okay, right? Well, <laughs> I mean, you're better than me because I hate when. But when you, you recognize start, I've had this discussion. Stop. With, come on, with, come on. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm trying just, to explain to you. I've had this discussion with you before, yeah. so there's not, nothing's well, going to change. Well, no, Rem. The last time we had this discussion, and <laughs> in case you don't remember, I think that we had a productive discussion. I came to understand a lot of you know how you're using language, right? I understand what kind of things you mean when you talk about epistemic norms. You're talking about things that are you know necessary conditions for human experience, right? You clarified some of your terminology. I was able to tell you what parts I agree and disagree with. I think it was productive, right? I think that was good. So I don't see why we can't do the exact same thing here. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. So you're claiming that this belief is false, right? I ought be able to discuss metaethics. So I'm, I'm granting you, I'm just going to grant for the sake of argument that I know nothing about metaethics and that my platform is big. I don't really accept either of those, but just for the sake of argument, I'll grant them. Uh, I still don't, uh, I still, you know, I have that belief. I ought be able to do it. Um, and obviously just, you know, this isn't, I shouldn't really let's, have to say that. One second, one second, one second. I shouldn't, I shouldn't need to say this. The reason is because I think that I'm being careful about the topic and I, I think that I'm trying my best to be honest and I'm willing to interact with the other side and yada, yada, yada. So I have my reasons for thinking it, but the point, the point is just that I, I ought be able to discuss it. So I have that belief. I'm not clear why that belief is false. Now, it seems like you are trying to do something that involves like realism to tell me that it's false. So you explain to me why that belief is false. Okay, well, you know my companions in, in the companions in guilt argument. So let's just skip the, you know, skip the... Well, well no, because what we got through last time was I agree that under your definition of epistemic norms, yeah, uh, there are epistemic norms. If, I'm, if I believe that there are you know, categorical epistemic norms. If, if me saying I don't think humans can perceive atemporally qualifies me as an epistemic realist on your view, then I'm fine with that, okay? So that's where we got to last time. So and there are epistemic reasons for belief. So like if- Right, but I'll, wait, you just I'll, tried to talk about companions and guilt. I'm just being clear, right? So yeah, we got to the, we, yeah, so we got to the end of your argument. We didn't get to the moral discussion, remember? Right, we so that's that. what we're gonna do okay. right now. Okay, and, and, so and, just, and just to be clear, this. and just to be clear, this moral discussion, we're having this discussion so that you can explain to me why this proposition is false, right? I guess so. Okay, all right. I just wanna make sure we're on track. Okay, so according to the anti-realist about morality, there are no categorical normative reasons. Um, so a categorical normative reason, that's something that you should do and that should isn't a hypothetical norm? Yep. Okay, so according to the anti, and I, call, I would sooner use the term non-realist, but yeah. Um, According to the anti-realists, there are no categorical norms about morality. Um, let me just think about that for a second. Um, just make sure I agree with what's being said there. So, no categorical norms about morality. Um, no, so that's that's false. I, uh, I'm not saying there aren't. I'm just saying that I'm not convinced there are. So I reject P1. Because I'm a non, I'm a non-realist, right? I wouldn't use the term anti-realist. I'm just not convinced of realism. Can you point me to what you mean by like where's non-realism i just i just mean that i don't hold the position of realism uh, well by your definition maybe i do because you seem to use realism in the same way that i would use the word cognitivism but yeah i mean i'm I well, just, no the, because i i think error theory falls well, under but 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 look re regardless the thing is like if if anti-realism means that one has to believe there are no categorical normative reasons, then I'm just going to say, okay, well, then I'm not an anti-realist, right? I'm just a non-realist, right? Because I'm not saying, I'm not making this claim. There are no categorical normative reasons. That would require an argument, right? I'm just saying that I'm not convinced that there are. 
No, but you have already acknowledged. Um, oh, I see. About so about morality. Okay. You, yeah, you understand. Um, this should be. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, matter. yeah. Of course, it shouldn't matter for yeah. the discussion. Yeah, because because the thing this is doing now, I don't. I use the word anti-realist a lot, right? There's there's little people who will try to snipe me, and be like, he uses anti-realist all the time, right? He's bullshitting you, right? Like I use the word, but to be clear, like I'm not taking a position like there are no categorical norms, right? Because that it seems like that would require an argument, right? I'm just not convinced that the proposition is. I'm, I'm not convinced of the truth value of that proposition. Right. I don't know to if be that's charitable, yeah. where you know, when you say that, we're going to ascribe to you like something different than what's being literally said. Yes, right. Um, I, I didn't track that. Can you say that again? Like when you call yourself an anti-realist, we look at that in the context of everything else you've said and charitably understanding that is really, we will understand it as non-realist. Sure, yeah. yeah. Just so, like when I say, for example, <laughs> when I say that you can't do something, uh, you can't represent this in logical form, I'm saying you can't accurately represent that as its logical form in right, the exact right. same way but, but it, and and if in the same way this isn't a parallel this part but if in the same way i actually said something that um when analyzed literally yields a contradiction and it's reasonable enough to interpret it literally then i would grant that just like uh you did right so okay okay so according to so can are, is it fine to change the word anti-realist to non-realist or does that just, damage your argument i think it i don't know we'll see Okay. We'll see how it plays out. Well, because it because I don't know of here's, any here's other non-realist, well, so well, I haven't considered it under that well, framework. Well, yeah, because the thing is, like, all I can tell you are what my beliefs are, right? Like, I can't, I can't, like, I, the labels aren't the most important thing to me, right? So what I know is that I don't, uh, I don't hold, a, I don't believe that the consequent is true. I don't have that belief about the consequent. I, yes, yeah, so I understand. So, what you so, so j well, just to be clear, so that means kind of like one of two things if it's if it's possible for you to be an anti-realist under your interpretation of that word and um just be unconvinced of the consequent then that proposition actually would become false right because it's saying you're an anti-realist and you have you therefore you believe that there aren't categorical normative reasons but it's possible to be an anti-realist and just not be convinced that there are so if we if we take anti-realist to include you know positions where you're just not convinced then that proposition is false but if we don't then i would just say i just would uh, ditch the label anti-realist and just say i'm not convinced so it, it depends if you want to use anti-realist to include positions like mine or not right so if if you do then the proposition would become false right because it's not true that by virtue of having my position i have to believe that there's no categorical normative reasons um, but if if we don't take anti-realist to mean that, if we take if we do take it to, to mean that there are these categorical normative reasons, then I, I mean sure we can just grant that. But then I wouldn't uh, be ca classified under the label anti-realist. So do you understand my reply there? Yes. It's like two pathways kind of. It's like either anti-realist includes that consequent, in which case I'm not an anti-realist, or it doesn't, in which case the proposition is false. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, I suspect the premise you will disagree with will be three. It seems like I'm disagreeing with one. Well, no, you're not really, because even if it is, because it's about knowability, so. Well, we have to, what we're going to do is we're going to, like, keep, like, writing out, like, iterations of the argument, because I want to keep it in text and make sure that we're clear about what's being said. So do you want to take the move where this premise is able to be true, where you just change anti-realist to non-realist? Or, or or use anti-realist to mean positions where well well no if you if you do that it'll be false so when you do, look do you want to change anti-realist to non-realist um, or in fact see no that's not, I'm, that's gonna, I'm reading through this it doesn't matter yeah. which one it is okay so in fact they would wait wait so I I, I actually misspoke there so the problem um, is I don't believe the consequent there, right? I don't believe there are no categorical normative reasons. It doesn't so, matter if we treat it as anti-realism or not. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually, I was actually confused about what I was saying there. I, I said something slightly wrong, but I won't, I won't belabor you with it. So, um, the, the, what we would really need to change is that, that I'm just not convinced there are categorical normative reasons, but I think that will have some kind of impact on your argument. I, mean, I don't think it will. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to just do a revision here. Um, uh, and you can tell me if it's accurate. So just give me a minute to type. You can you know, talk to your audience or something. John, John, an air theorist in the, because you're not an air theorist, are you? Uh, Isaac. 
Uh, no, no, I'm not an air theorist. John, do you, is this a position in the literature? Do you know? If, if you're still watching. Uh, just kind of obvious point here, but obviously whether a position is in the literature doesn't tell you whether the position is correct. No, I just say, okay. I am aware. Okay. I was asking. Yep. Although it does give, perhaps, yeah, in, yeah, in like just this agnostic, that what you called agnostic anti-realism. Um, agnostic anti-realism. Well, it's, or you probably also call it agnostic realism. Like, I mean, I just, I just, I, I'm convinced. I, I, hypothetical norms make sense to me. I just am not convinced. There's other kinds of norms. I've almost got this done. One second. I just need to see the structure. Uh, there. Okay. So then, this is, I guess, not R. Um, and then there are categorical normative reasons. So that's going to be. There are categorical. Well, Mackie was an errant theorist. Wait. So you actually, this, this argument's a bit redundant. We can actually just get rid of, uh, this is what I did on my stream when I talked about this too. We can just get rid of, um, we can get rid of uh, conclusion one, cause like you can just get to conclusion two. Like you don't, you don't need conclusion one. It's just superfluous, right? What is, what is Brindle Bear doing? Oh, um, it's actually kind of inappropriate of him to, you know, type up shit while we're trying to stream. It's supposed to be, he's an admin, so he can type in there. I think he's just giving, you know, he's talking about anti-realism. If we want to bring him on later, you're welcome to. He's a smart guy. He, he, he knows the literature. Um, okay, so just with your argument, you understand conclusion one is superfluous, right? Like, we don't actually need that to have a valid argument. Uh well, I mean, but we're using it. Well, no, we do need it because that's how we get um, the final. I, I don't think uh, you, here, I'll, I'll show you. We actually have a logic button here, so I'll just I'll show you. Um, OK, therefore not P. Um, OK, and then uh, OK, we're, I haven't adjusted the wording yet. I've just formalized. Um, you, so you do need what, it because what, what, an, well, moral anti-realism only comes up in the first proposition. But, but, but you you, you, no, I, I, okay, well, I might be wrong, but we're just going to do a check with the logic bot because I'm, I'm pretty fucking sure about this. So, so first of all, um, right here, and I'll, I'll, I'll type it up twice, once with the form that I'm suggesting and once with, um, once with your form. Wait, what did you get rid um, of? You're not I, getting rid of the first proposition. No, I'm, I'm not. I got rid of the first conclusion. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type it up again with that conclusion and then without, and then I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, wait, so I'm, you're I'm, saying you can remove the first conclusion. Yeah, and it'll still be valid. I'm pr almost Oh, I thought you were saying we could get rid of the first proposition. <laughs> no. Well, um, no, I mean, yeah, obviously the fourth just follows from the fifth. It's not. Um, yeah, like, I mean, if we if we just check this argument right here. So, OK, so let me uh, let me just do a, a quick little check. So you, you might think this is cool. This bot also can do crazy shit like generate truth tables and not just like the truth tables for WFFs. It can actually generate truth tables for arguments. And it, I'm going like, to be honest with you. I I don't know why you would use it. I think it's a little silly that um, in my you don't think you don't think that it's useful for people to be able to like there's also the ram there's tons of benefits like i will argue the utilitarian case for this bot fucking all day with you you know how many people have learned prop logic from this bot um it even it can auto generate infinite quizzes and grill people and they get like seven minutes per question and if they pass with a high enough roll they or uh, sorry score they get a roll it's uh it's useful so um here one second we're just gonna do a form check but there are there are and then oh what did i just do uh, okay and then therefore sorry did i, I fuck i think but, I, just uh, I, just, I don't OBS. know why we're, we can we both know what we're doing i don't know why we're just sitting here watching you do this bot thing oh this is just this is i don't need a proof argument. i understand it's well, very yeah clear. but it's just for people watching okay so just one second therefore not p so that should work yeah, so that's valid. And if we were to put in uh, that other conclusion too, it would still come out valid, right? So it's just the other conclusion is just superfluous. I'm just, I'm just showing why for people on stream because it's still valid even after we remove that conclusion, right? Yeah, we, we but agree? it's only there to just make it more clear about what's going on. That's, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just, I just want to make it into simple people speak. Okay, so now let's look at, the, okay, so now I need to do the part where I, adjust that part about categorical normative reasons. So let's let's fix that up. So according to the anti-realist about morality. I have to go in 30 minutes, by the way, just so okay. you know. Okay, well, um, 
Um, he, uh, he's uh, well, yeah. So according to, um, yeah, according to the anti-realist, he is you know uncertain whether categorical normative reasons uh, what exist. Um, okay. And then we got to adjust the phrasing in P2. So I'm just, the consequent of P1 is the same as the antecedent of P2. So I'm just standardizing that in the same way. Um, okay, if, one second here, let's, okay. If according to the non-realist about morality, um, he's uncertain. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird phrasing. Like I'd rather write it like this. So if one is a non-realist about morality, then one is, well, let's just say one can be, right? Can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons. Okay, that's good. That's how I would like to phrase it. I'll run it by you after. If one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons, then there are no epistemic reasons for belief, but there are epistemic reasons um, uh, okay, there are epistemic reasons for belief. Get rid of the but, um, and then conclusion. Therefore, um, it's not the case. Therefore, it's not the case that one is a non-realist about morality. Okay, so there, I understand what that's saying. Does that look good to you? Yes. Okay, so if one is a non-realist about morality, then one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons. If one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons, then there are no epistemic reasons for belief. There are epistemic yes. reasons for belief. Therefore, it's not the case that one is a non-realist about morality. Where we agree right, that's, so that's you, accurate? You, Wait, yeah, and you grant just, premise just, three. Well, just before that, do we, I just want to establish, you would yes, say that's I accurate. Yes, I do, yes. Okay, uh, I'd rather go premise by premise before going through three. Well, but, but we can just figure yeah, out if, that premise if, two if, is what you're going to disagree with. Yeah, if, if three by epistemic reasons, again, if I'm qualified as, well, whether there are or whether I believe there are, well, slightly different, but but yeah, I mean, I, I, I believe there are if all that means is that I'm uncertain that we can perceive atemporally. But let's just go, can we just go from the top? Because I'd rather just go through it one by one. Okay. So, okay, so the first premise I think I can now say is true, right? So if one is a non-realist, then one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons. Okay, sure. Uh, so I can agree with P1, good, okay. So now P2, if one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons for belief, then there are no epistemic reasons for belief. I'm not convinced of that. Okay, well, let's discuss. Okay. Why do you disagree? I'm just not clear why it's true. So a categorical normative reason is something that you ultimately ought to believe, right? Regardless of, you know, from, from this... From our, again, it's always from the human standpoint, of course. Uh, also, I have to go pee. So can you give me like two minutes? Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, pee break. I'll be right back though. Okay. Rem's taking a piss. Do you want to talk for a second, Bryn? Hello, hello. I heard, I saw you trying to type oh. shit if you want to talk before Rem comes back. I'm gonna yeah. boot, I'm gonna boot you out when he comes back, so I don't want to be unfair to him. Yeah, so the only reason um I posted that is he seemed to be calling on someone else for a reference in the literature to your position, and we talked about this before that you at one point had your view described as minimal non-realism. I was just providing the SCP article that that like seems to capture what you're talking about, which is just like a rejection of categorical norms. I'm not even rejecting them, just not convinced they exist. Right, you're right, something like that, right? That's sort of their their view. Um, okay. Which is just that there's just, you know, it's non-objectivism or not convinced of objectivism, but you still hold cognitivism um, and you're not an error theorist. Yeah, I'm not an error theorist. And yeah, That's I mean, right. I'm subjectivist, so obviously it's a cognitive position, cognitivist position. Yeah, I just didn't want the, uh, the other person to call on, say no, and make it seem like this isn't a position in the literature. It, it is, I mean, a lot of people accept cognitivism, reject error theory, but aren't convinced of categorical norms. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's where I have been at for a while. I mean, I just, I don't understand how, like, I don't know what a non-hypothetical norm could even look like. 
I've never been able to understand yeah. what people are talking about when they try to talk about non-hypothetical norms. Yeah, that's actually something I think Mackie sort of gets at, is that it's really hard to construct norms categorically. Yeah, I haven't actually read Mackie. I mean, I probably should. I should should know the big error theorists' work, but I don't. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they, I don't think they consider ethics to be like the chief error theory work anymore. But it's really short, and it drives a lot of problems into, especially Kantian right? What's going on here? Oh, I was just talking with Bryn. Okay, bye, Bryn. I just want to keep myself entertained. All right, what's up? So yeah, premise two. I'm Hello. not convinced of premise two. Can you hear me? Pardon? Hello? Oh, so, yeah. Hello? Sorry. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I just I was just talking with Bryn while you were away. He, you okay. know, the guy who would post that stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So I'm not convinced of two. Okay. So All what's right. what's the art? So yeah, if you can just give me like a syllogism, that would be great. Where the conclusion is two. Well, I mean, just think about it, right? So categorical normative reason. It's going to be something that is objectively and necessarily things that we should always, you know, tend towards. Uh, that's, of course, what it means for something to be categorical. It's not just an if-then, uh, you know, it's not a hypothetical uh, uh, norm. Yeah, and... I don't really understand them. I just understand they are should statements that where the should isn't a hypothetical norm. That That's all I'm really understanding there, and I'm not convinced that that exists. Right, one second, we just so, copy. So, so why is it that me being unconvinced whether those exist means that there are no epistemic reasons for belief, right? So, it, and on this, on, like what you're committed well, what to- What is an epistemic what reason? What you're committed to right now is in fact that there are no epistemic reasons for belief because I am uncertain that there are categorical normative reasons. Right, but you've acknowledged that there are epistemic reasons for belief. Wait, but but one second. Um, so one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons. Do you agree that I'm uncertain? Yes. Okay, well, then there are no epistemic reasons for belief. By modus ponens, you're going to be just committed to there not being epistemic reasons. So I think you have to change the phrasing there. What, no, what, are you, what not... are you talking about? Okay, so just look at premise two and picture chain. I can write it out, but you can just picture making. And you get R, and then you get not R, and then no. that's a contradiction. Wait, wait no, I, I have to show you something. Look, if we just take premise two, right, and we just modus ponens on that premise. One second. Yes, you get R. One second. Um, P1, P2, do, 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 do. Um, okay, one second. One can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons. Um, do, 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 conclusion. Um, therefore, um, okay, so that's that one's going to be Q, and then, or I guess I should maybe just make this straightforward. P implies Q, P. Um, therefore, Q. So look, if we just do modus ponens on that premise too, right? If one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons, then there are no epistemic uh, reasons for belief. You agree with P1, right? Mm -hmm. And you agree with P2. One can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons. So there's a phrasing problem here because this is going to commit you to saying that there are no epistemic reasons for belief. So there's some kind of problem no. about... What are you what are you talking about? Well, look, it's just modus ponens. If one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons, then there are no epistemic reasons for belief. Right, and, but I, I... Oh, oh, no, no, but yeah. I disagree that someone can be uncertain. Right, okay, there we go. So, yeah, now I am... Um, I'm... Okay, all right, yeah. Well, like, that, that just... Because well, I'm well, a realist, that just... Yeah, like, now, now I'm not going to try to hold you to it because I could tell it was a misspeak for from the start. But you, um, you originally said that you agree that I'm uncertain, right? And if that's the case, you would just I, getting, I agree yeah. that you believe you are uncertain. Mm, okay, well, I, I asked, I said I am uncertain. Do you accept that? And you said yeah. Right, no, no, I thought you meant like that's fine. That's that fine. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna if that's not the issue, it can just well actually maybe I won't delete that. Maybe I'll leave it in case we need it. So. Well, if one can be uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons, then there are no epistemic reasons for belief. So I don't understand why me being uncertain about categorical normative reasons means that there are no epistemic reasons for because belief. Because they're uncertain if there are any epistemic reasons, because an epistemic reason is going to be normative, right? You know, so. I don't, I have to say, I'm not tracking. So what I'd like you to do, um, because I think that when arguments are bad, people try to talk in natural language, like no offense. So just give me a syllogism where the conclusion is premised. I, I, 
that's that it, is the bar, and I will be sticking to that. I want a syllogism with the conclusion. The issue is, we, I don't have a lot of time to do this. I only have like 19 minutes that, left that, before I have to go. That's okay. We can pick up later, but that's what I'm going to need, right? I don't. The thing is, when people, my general take is when people like, I mean, some of your friends with some of these. But people, it's like, also, but um, it's just wrong yeah. because if you look at any sort of philosophical literature, people wait, do not do this. I wait, say. wait a second. Wait a second. So. When I when I talk to people sort of like who have these kind of views, right? Like there, you know, some of them, like perspective sophistry. Um, I mean, there's some others. Can you, okay, um, that's I, not. I, don't don't do that when someone like. Oh, like I I will I will a hundred percent do that. But you your disagreement has been noted. Um, now, people like that, and I think you do a bit of this. Um, although you're definitely more rigorous than that guy. Um, there's there's a lot of natural. He's a master. He knows more about this than I do. Yeah. Well, your thinking sounds clearer to me. Um, his thinking is like a bird's nest. So you have a different you know, methodology what, for doing philosophy than he does. I stick to my claim. Um, so with well, uh, well, just one second. So what I think happens with people like this is they have these like half baked beliefs, right? Where like do you, you think all you, philosophers one, are like one, this? Then? One, just one second. Just okay, one yeah, second. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I'm not talking about all philosophers. I'm talking about a specific kind of person. So I think there's a specific kind of person. I could maybe start telling you what the conditions are for being that kind of person. But they have they have these kind of like half baked arguments where it's like they they can't actually bottom out their infrastructure and propositions that I agree with, right? And just by asking for arguments, they often crumble. So what I need you to do, Rem, is I do need a syllogism that concludes with premise two. Now, if you okay. don't want to, now now I wait. So I understand that asking someone to syllogize their thoughts yeah, on the spot. ridiculous. Well, wait a second. I understand that asking someone to do that on the spot is not a fair demand. So if you want, if we want to end the conversation now and then pick it up where you come with a syllogism for P2, that would be fine for me. No, it just, it makes this conversation just so, because I, I want to point out the fact that no philosopher Don't care. does this. Don't care. What I want is a syllogism. I, I care very much about the inference structure being valid. Also, why and do you think syllogism? Just say... What, you want me to say argument? Yeah. Syllogism isn't, like... Okay, well... We don't have syllogism. I mean, Those are Aristotelian. Oh, wait, well, wait. We can still call an argument a syllogism if it's improvisational I, But it's not logic. really... If we want to be... If we want to be nitpicky uh, like you are nitpicky. Well, wait, I mean, I don't, I don't know that that's the case. I think we can still refer to it as a syllogism. When people say syllogism, they it usually are talking about syllogistic logic. Yeah, it doesn't have to refer to like Aristotelian categorical. Logic well, if we want to be literally, I mean, well, I mean, I just, like, I just take that's a, a subsection okay, of okay. argument. Okay, it's not. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure that you're even right about that being uh, standard terminology. But let's just grant it, right? Because I don't care about the terminology battles. I care, like you love to do that shit. I don't. I can't even tell you how little. I, one second, I can't even tell you how little I care. I just want to know what the words that are being used mean, so I can tell if what's being said is co uh, coherent. So just to be clear, um, your premise too, I'm not convinced of. I think that you and I can explain to you why it is convincing, but you want right. it in a very unreasonable fashion. You, you that's going to take us like twenty you, you, hours no, no, to go you, through you, one, you, by you, one by one by one by one by one. If you want to try, if you want to try to convey it in natural language a few times, you can. But if I'm not clear on what you're saying, we need a syllogism. That's just how it goes. Uh, but again, I just I do want to point out that literally no don't one care. does this. Don't care. Couldn't tell you how little I care. What I care about is knowing. So that why should I be what, meeting what your? I, demands here. Not Maybe this I'm is not, a, I wouldn't, like a poor, I, I wouldn't, understanding of the I, field. I wouldn't say that you should from your perspective. From my perspective, you should because it's my preference. That's all I take should to mean. Um, now, when... Uh, Why don't you when, just go read up on these things first and then no, we can have the discussion? Well, Why well, is the well, onus wait, on me to wait, do Wait, that's, 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 that's big talk from a guy who, you know, as far as I can tell, doesn't actually have an argument for that P2. So I do. It's just it would, t okay. it would take hours okay. to go through it no, one no, by one. No, and no, no that, 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 that's, that's fine. So if you want to try taking a crack or two in natural language, I'll try listening. But if I get the vibe that I don't think what you're saying is actually clear, I am going to request a syllogism. So do you want to so try... So if, if you don't but we know that's going to be the case because you aren't familiar no, with the field at all. No, we we don't. It's like wait are we a second. Say, no, like, if, cheap if shot, shot, cheap shot, no, rem, rem cheap shot. I need a little no, one of those. I need a little one of those stream buttons for when I talk to you, where I hit a little bell. I do when too you take for when shot. you cut me off and I'm speaking. F fine. Well, we'll ding our fucking bells at each other, Rem. What I so yeah, there. Let, let me let me make this just clear, okay? You could complain about this to the ends of the earth and i wouldn't care and right? you don't what, care fine no, not even not even remotely but your demands because, here are because, very unreasonable because what i care about because what i care about is if i actually agree with what you're saying 
that's what I care about. And yeah, so in go order, read up a bit, and, in and order, then we can have a discussion. And in order for me to understand if I agree, I need to understand what the inference structure is. Now, when the inference structure is loose and it's in natural language, it's hard to understand, and that's why I want it formalized. It's so not, if, though, you, if you want to, if you want to, if you if you want to try, if you want to try in natural language, I am happy to charitably listen and try to understand what you're saying. But if we take like three or four shots and it's just unclear, then yeah, I want a syllogism. So do you want to try the natural language a few times? We might be able to just get through it. Maybe you can make it clear. Okay. Okay. So essentially, if I have a categorical normative reason, okay, it means that it is something that I always ought to tend towards as an agent. That is what I must be driven to as a rational agent towards, right? So if I have the categorical normative reason that I should help uh, an old lady across the street, then necessarily I ought to do that. When I'm presented with an old lady, I have a moral obligation then I'm, to I cross not understanding. the street. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm already lost. When you, What does it mean to say that it's a moral obligation or you should? What does that even mean? That there? when you are in that situation, that is what you do. That Wait, but that's just that sounds kind of like descriptive. Are you just saying that that is what someone will do? Or are you saying some kind of like should thing? Does does anyone in my chat not understand what I mean? Oh, just, that, that's a cheap shot. I've got you saying things you can't explain. So let's well, just keep. Well, I feel like that's a bit. I feel like this is a very intuitive it's concept. Not intuitive to me, Rem. So let's just keep going. Let's try to be clear about. Premise when I two. say, for example, you ought to open the door for them, what does that mean to you, Isaac? What I take it to mean is that it's your preference for me to open the door. Okay. And but from that there is a there is a it's uh what we could call a it's a prescriptive claim. Well, right? What do you think you mean when you say that? It means that you as an agent ought to act or in the future will act under a certain type of um under a certain type of request. And in a sense you have a certain obligation to do so. Now, As so in, there's, it sounds like and there's... And you can, you can yeah. understand that in terms of I'm expressing my preference to, okay? I understand that you can appreciate that as being, that is my preference to do so, but you just then reject that there is actually some sort of always present driving force behind those prescriptive claims. Whoa, you are saying, well, wait. there is nothing driving that whoa, whoa, other than... Whoa. I, I'm not someone's clear. preference I'm to not, or to not I'm do not, that. I'm not clear that I'm saying that. I'm saying that all that I take ought to mean is you're talking about your preference. Is if, a, a if, preference. If, right. if you think it means something else, I'm happy to hear it. Right. I'm just I'm just not aware of. Right. It means that there is something above and beyond a mere preference. There is an actual like do like reasons. Right. When I perform an action, I have a reason for doing so. And we can then look at that reason and ask whether it is justified or not. Well, we, we, we have to we, go into the language. So when you say ought, what do you mean? Relative to a certain set of ends or norms that we have. That's we a hypothetical determine. norm. That, that's hypo that's going to be a hypothetical no, norm, though. No, it's not. No, 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 it's no. it's relative because... to a goal, it's going to be a hypo norm. No, that's not true. What? Don't you take a hypo norm to be a norm of the form? No, no, but we're want. talking about reasons. Okay, so when you say categorical normative reason, an instance of that is like you ought hold the no, door. No, I'm for trying to. I'm trying lady. to. I'm trying to paint the picture for you so that you understand what I mean by a, something that yeah. is categorical well, normative, right? So when I do, yeah. when I perform an action, right, and I do it. Well, I can I ask can you the question I need to ask to understand it, because what what's tripping me out is your use of the word ought, right? Because I understand by categorical normative reason. Right. You, then you I'll mean, explain it without now, the use now, of the now, word ought. I, now I remember a bit. One second. Uh, well, the the okay, you can do that, but. Remember a bit about your position, which is that you're not you don't want to commit too hard to what the norms are. You just want to commit to them existing. And I wouldn't try to, you know, destiny you. I well, understand. One there second. Are certain norms one, that one I second. agree to. Wait. Yeah. But when you talk about what I've heard you say multiple times, and I wouldn't try to like destiny you on this because he did this to you. And I don't think he appreciated why it was unfair. He asked you to like defend the existence oh, of yes. some specific norm instead of yes. just defending that there exists a norm. So I, w I wouldn't ask that, but I just need to know kind of what you mean by the norm. So one norm could be like you ought, you know, help the old lady across the street. Now, I, I'm just I just made that little comment there about the destiny debate just because 
I, I understand that you might think there's more defensible norms than that. We're just going to say like this, let's say this is an example of a categorical norm uh, or, or yeah, categorical normative, you, you know, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so um, now I don't understand, now I understand that claim to be like you ought help an old lady across the street. I don't know what ought means, so you could clarify that or if you want to use alternate language, you could, you know, do that. So what? how do you want to deal with that? I mean, ultimately, I think that the issue here is that you don't have this, you, you reject that there is a, because there are primitive notions that we necessarily have, right? And the idea of a prescriptive claim, a driving force behind a prescriptive claim is something that I would defend as something just native to experience in the first place. Just, it's it's a very factor of our experience. I, I'm not um, clear though. What, what I'm asking is when you say- th th That's what I mean by it is in a sense an intuitive notion. You're asking for a definition of something that really can't be defined in uh, okay. just like, for example, space can't really well, be defined. well yeah but but the thing is with things that maybe would be hard to define like just like the qualia of blue or something like if we're if we say experience like like our language kind of bottoms out around there and like you just have to see blue to know what blue is or something like right that. and it's the same thing with yeah. like a, a moral prescription yeah yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine i'm fine with that that's fine but in that case you can actually be like here look at you point up at the sky and say look at that you see no, that no, no no that's not true okay, that's not well, everything is ostensible Okay, but I'm just give, I'm just giving sort of uh, example here. So the thing I'm trying to convey is just that I don't know if I need a definition. You could just provide me. You could point to the thing in my. That's what I was one trying second. to do. I'm trying wait, to provide wait, you wait, with example. Wait, you could you could point to the thing in my experience that is what you're referring to. If it's yes, like hard and to, that's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I just I just want to be clear. So when you say categorical norm, moral norm, um, we're talking about some kind of statement like you ought help the old lady across the road now i'm trying to understand what that ought means now if you i'm not going to hold you to the language if you want to move away from the ought language and give a different phrasing of it that's fine or you could define the ought such that i understand it which would you rather do i would rather just give you an example and we'll see if you are able to just like pointing it at the sky and well but what but, but i need I, i'm fine with that but i need to understand how the example relates to what we're talking about so we're talking about a categorical moral norm right so it's i take I, I mean i need to know an example statement of a categorical uh moral norm right so i was fine using the old lady example do you want to use that example or is there another that you'd rather use it's just i know that the fact that you're not even getting this is going to make this conversation that that, just... that could be because your view is incoherent Ren. so I, well no you... i just i've never met yeah. anyone yep incapable of i I, I, I tend to be precise right and sometimes when you attack something with a lot of precision someone will realize that there's like fundamental things they're saying that are just confused right so it just as much as you can sit there posturing right i can i can do the same thing back you and that's not interesting so let's just talk about what makes sense when you say there's a categorical normative reason I, I'm not clear what the fuck you think you mean, right? So you have to make me understand what you mean. So we had an example, right? Um, and again, you might not be fully committed to this being a categorical moral norm, um, but it's like an example we, we're gonna like use whatever. So one is you ought help the old lady across the street. Now, if we're using that example, my question is what do you mean by ought? If you want to use a different kind of language than ought, you can rephrase. Or if you think the example is problematic, you can switch to another example. So there's different do, pathways there. You do realize people generally are able to under, within a linguistic Don't care. community, Don't care. people know what, what do you mean? That's how words have meaning. <laughs> well, I need to, under, if you want to help me understand the meaning, Ram. Then do you I, speak a different language than me? Ask yeah. yourself. Maybe, because I don't understand what you mean. Uh, if I were to go up to anyone and I ask, what look, does it do you mean think, for do you me think, to tell you you ought to Rem, do Rem, this? Look, do you think that I'm being dishonest with you? Do you think I'm pretending not to I know what you mean? Genuinely, I, yes, I, at this point I do. Okay, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to resolve that because I honestly do not understand what you mean. Well, well like, then... uh, let me, maybe I can say something to make you think I'm being honest, okay? Not that I should even have to do this, but do you, if you want just a sample into my perspective, I know this perspective will trigger you, but if you want to know like how I actually feel internally when I like talk about these things, okay? When I hear people like moral realists using these words like good and bad and ought and stuff, I'm not clear what they mean by those words. If by those words, they mean something other than this is my preference, right? Now I understand they think it's fucking obvious. I've had tons of moral realists say it's fucking obvious, right? No, 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 but this but is wrong. This wait, is wrong, please, ask please yourself. Like, I thought you wanted, I'm just telling, I'm, it doesn't matter, I'm, tell, I'm just telling you, it's not wrong, I'm telling you what I think, right? It's, I can't- But even a motivist, I, 
yeah, who hold wait, your view wait, are capable of understanding wait, this. Wait, wait. But I thought that, look, I'm. Tr you think that I'm being dishonest. I'm trying to diffuse that thought. Not that I should even have to, just so that you understand why I'm being a bit pedantic about it, right? Because you think that's motivated by some fucking dishonesty, and I really do not, okay? So from my perspective, when I talk to moral realists, I find that they use words like ought and good and bad, and I don't really understand how they're using them. Now, I'll often ask how they're using them, and you know, sometimes they'll give a definition, and sometimes they'll just say it's fucking obvious, right? And I know there's people who agree with you that it's obvious. Like, I talk to Insup sometimes. Uh, he, he thinks it's just obvious, right? But honestly, Rem, it's not obvious to me what those kind of words mean if they don't refer to preferences. That is truly and honestly where I'm coming from. So well, if you want to help I, me understand I think, it. Yeah. I don't think we're cut out to have this conversation with you. Well, I don't, I don't think I'm you, I, really. okay, but I'm going to fire a shot back at you. Okay. You're saying you're not educated Fine. enough. I'm going to, I'm going to say, I don't think you can actually coherently define what you're talking about. Okay. Well, that's fine because I've talked to enough emotivists who basically hold the view that you do who well, are more than capable of getting past this first step. Well, maybe I'm just, <laughs> because maybe the notion... I'm just stupid rem like just why don't you just like look are you just saying you don't want to try to help me understand what you mean well yeah partly because it's it's very frustrating okay. for me okay but well, ultimately yeah. if i can i'll try again okay right so if i perform an action okay well you don't right? look you don't have to have a conversation you don't want to it's just it's you understand that look well, i'll just, try one just more let, time just okay, let me try let, one more time okay but, I do but, have but yeah let me say one thing but just pr take you've been saying okay but just talk like uh, 90 you, percent okay and maybe maybe i have but i'm the one who's confused here so Look, someone, someone, I just want you to understand this, okay? If two people are talking to each other and one of them is invoking terms the other guy doesn't understand, you can think I'm being dishonest all you want, but assume that there's no dishonesty going on. Surely you understand one guy saying to the other, look, I need to know what you mean to continue the conversation. I, yes, I understand. So okay. let me try, okay? Please, yeah, okay. go ahead. So when I perform an action, like let's say I, I actually, I walk an old lady across the road. Okay, and someone asks, oh, well, why did you do that? What does that mean? It means I'm asking for their reason as to why they did this. I'm, I'm looking for an explanation of what is it that went in into their mind about what, what, what prompted them to do this at the end of the day, what motivated them, okay? Um, when ultimately that question is going to come down to whether well, I could say, for example, um, I did it because I wanted to maximize, you know, ba the basic utilitarian uh, proposition, right? That is a that is a primitive reason that exists within what is called the motivational set, okay? And to say that that is categorical is to say that that reason must exist in every single person's motivational set. So I have just given you a definition that does not employ any sort of ought or should. So does that make it clear to you? I think that actually is making some progress towards making it clear to me. So okay. if we have a, so let's just try to connect that to the language. So categorical normative reason, let's, so all we mean by that is a reason that's part of the motivation set. I just take that to be the set of reasons that motivate some given thing. Alexa, <laughs> stop! Um, yeah, okay, so so what you mean, let's just make sure I'm understanding you because I'm not sure I am. You, when you say something's a categorical normative reason, what you mean by that is um, that it is some uh, some reason that's always part of, it's the always part of the motivational set, you said, which I take to just be the set of things that motivate, right? So yeah, I mean, it's, it's just some reason that always motivates you. Well, yeah, it always motivates you, but you can have writing but motivations. sorry do you do you think that there are oughts though or you don't think there are oughts because well but okay so but the, the further thing we have to say then is well then we ask well whether or not that reason was justified or not okay well, and then but, the but you understand be, why it's important you use ought because this is all so that you can falsify this proposition i ought to be able to I, discuss yes i understand meta, so right? let me just yeah. further explain so we can highlight it better okay so i then ask you well are you justified in is that reason for walking a lady justified or not? And if it is a categorical normative reason, the answer to that question will always be yes. It is always justified. Under every single circumstance, it is a justified moral reason to do so. Okay, but I have to understand, when you say this sentence here, I ought be able to discuss metaethics despite knowing nothing about uh, metaethics on a big platform. Um, 
the ought there, I thought the whole reason we were going into this is to understand what that ought means there. So you, you're going to have to like change that sentence too or something, right? Like, I didn't, what, you, what I, look, I'm just trying to express to you what a categorical normative reason is. Well, but, but wait, you're, the original discussion is you're trying to explain why this belief that I have, I ought to be able to discuss. Well, let's meta forget that. Let's just focus purely on this argument wait, because well, I can't one, keep one, going back and forth well, here. One, one second. So you're dropping the claim that that's a false belief because I'm going to hold you to that shit. That's for sure. No, it's just we can put that aside. Well, and wait, we can come but, back but, to that but, after we've done but this. But no, I, I think that's a very um, a good angle to get into this, right? So... When, well, I disagree. So let's okay, just okay, not. Well, we can well, look at this argument by itself. Well, one, one second, one second. Okay. Well, we can look. We can. I'm happy to go over the argument. But just the point is, um, I don't. I can't. I'm having. Tr when you say that that sentence is false, right? And I say, well, I mean, I don't understand how it can be false. I just take ought to be my preference, and that is my preference. So I don't see how it's false. And you say, you know, that's not what ought means, right? Then I need to understand how you mean that word. So like, what do you think you mean when you say ought? That's what I think is the thing that you struggle with. What do you mean by ought? I just explained that to you with ought. reasons. Okay, so ought means that there is a categorical normative reason? Well, well, uh, it depends what kind of ought. But yes, the claim is that there is an ought. That is always a categorical normative reason. Yes. Okay, so I ought be able to discuss Ought means it. that it's ultimately uh, under a chain of hypothetical reason. Wait, it but, bottoms out so, in a categorical normative one. So one second. So... If the ought in this sentence uh, doesn't refer to preferences and it says, I ought, you know, and that's some categorical normative reason, be able to do blah, blah, blah. I don't even believe in those reasons. So that's not actually even a proposition that I believe. So you can't say that's a false belief. Okay, look, it's three. I have to go. Yeah, it's... but I just got you, Rem. Like, look, you have what do you to. Mean you just got me. Well, I just got you, right? So I didn't this... even listen to what you just said because okay. I was looking at the well, time. Okay. Well, let me let me walk you through it, right? The claim, the belief that I have that's false is apparently I ought to be able to discuss meta ethics despite knowing nothing about meta ethics yes. on a big platform. Now I take that ought to just refer to my preferences, right? And I, I mean, it is my preference, so it seems fucking true to me. Now you're telling me that by ought there, you actually mean something other than my preferences, in which case it's not even a belief I hold because I, I mean, when the only way I'd affirm that that's a belief I hold is if you're talking about preferences. So why do I, it, you don't have, it doesn't have to well, be a belief that you well, have. Well, wait, you, one second, you claimed that that is a false belief that I have. Now, if the ought refers to preferences, I don't see how it's false. If the ought refers to something other than preferences, then it's not a belief I have. So that's a trap. Why does it have to be a belief there. that you have? What, because, wait, wait, what? <laughs> why does it have to be a belief I have, Rem? Because wait, wait what are you but, talking Rem, about? Rem, the reason it has to be a belief I have is because wait, I can you reframe the, what where the gotcha yeah, is. I'm not yeah, even understanding. The, the reason why it has to be a belief I have is because you claim that this is a false belief that I have. That's how we got into this whole thing. The claim right? is false. That wait, proposition is false. No, no, you, wait. Yeah, but you said that I have false beliefs, right? So this proposition here, I ought to be able to discuss meta ethics despite knowing nothing about meta ethics on a big platform. Yeah. That's a false belief. That is to say, I believe that's true and the proposition is actually false, right? I assume mm -hmm. that's what false belief is. Mm -hmm. um, now, what I'm saying is that if the ought there refers to- Are you pre clicking or something? There's a clicking. Oh, um, it might be my mouse. Is it that? Yes. Sorry, I'll try not to do that. Um, uh, I'm gonna fucking put one of those noise gate things on that mic. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, with the, if with this proposition, I ought be able to discuss meta ethics despite knowing nothing about. It. So if the ought there refers to preferences, then yes, that's a belief that I have, and it just seems clearly true to me that 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 belief is true because it is my preference, right? Now, if the ought there refers to something other than preferences, then it's not a belief that I have, and then when you claim that's a false belief that I have, you're no, just no, wrong because no. that's not a belief I have. Wait, just so the, no, the, di the well, the wait, the, it's, it's 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 one it's one or the other though. It's so just to be clear. It's either the ought refers to preferences and I have the belief and it's clearly true, or the ought refers to something else and I don't have the belief, in which case it's not a false belief no, that I again, have. again, this is, I cannot believe we're back to fucking You're stuck. deontic logic. I am not stuck. You are stuck. Especially if you were to rephrase that in deontic look, logic. Let, let's just be simple. Claim that would what is, be, hold what, on. Look, just, let, let me well, look, I can, I can lead you, look, I could literally you write said, this as a syllogism. You said look, I would be able to Rem, answer this. Wait, wait, okay, preference. let me phrase it more carefully then. Oh my God. Because, because I could literally give you a syllogism. This is like just straight up clear as daylight 
that it's a ought, deontic look, statement. Do, look, the, the look, does that does is that a fucking operator? Look, I'm just asking. Does that ought refer to my preferences? It's an operator. Yes or no, please, Rem. Does that ought? I, I say it doesn't. Oh, you believe okay. that it okay. does, but wait. I don't believe that it right, does. Right, right, wait. But it's wait. an operator. Okay, okay, but you understand, if it doesn't refer to my preferences, then that's not a belief I have. <laughs> Again, if you were to reframe the argument, it would be in the operator. So I think the I've got claim it. that I disagree with is whether or not you have that ought. If you have a different definition of ought, that's a font Like, you can absolutely say no, that and you no, can no, have no. the belief yeah. but that's a second statement no, no, no. about whether or not ought so when i make that statement it is always within my view of what ought actually means it has nothing to do with your own personal preferences Wait. okay so but you're in a bit of a corner now because if that ought doesn't refer to preferences oh that's not God. a belief i have so then that's not an example of a false belief Dude, that's not true. What do you think of false? Like, again, you believe that you are able to, that you ought to be able to. You should to admit this. that I got you on this point and we should move on. How can you possibly? It's like, very, it's very what? obvious, Rem. Either the ought refers to preferences, and it is my belief, right? Okay, let, let's, refer, let's write or, this out. Or, 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 the ought, this out or the ought us, refers okay? to something else, in which case I don't believe. I believe, it. I believe, let me, let me write this out, okay? I and then I have to go. I ought to or I I believe the claim or the proposition, okay? I believe the proposition I ought to be able to discuss yada 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 yada. An easier okay. sorry, an Hold easier on, let way. Let me let me let me write it out. I okay? could I could and formalize it easily. I believe it's, oh, let me finish you, the proposition yeah. and then we're going to do the the operator, the operational applicator be able to discuss blah, 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 okay? So that that's that's very, very simple. I, I could easily okay. tell you formally what I mean here, right? So with the- I disagree that the proposition is true. Look, Rem, just, just please just understand this for a second. If that ought refers to preferences, then I believe that, right? If it doesn't refer to preferences, then I don't believe it. Do you follow that, just those two implications? Let me write this out. That's just P implies Q, not P implies R, right? Okay, so if obligation is a preference operator... Well, let's talk about ought. Out. Let's talk about the ought. I want to stick exactly to the language, right? So if that ought refers to preferences, then yes, that is a belief that I have. If that ought does not refer to preferences, then that is not a belief that I have. We're talking about whether the belief that you hold is true or false we're talking right, right. It, what well kind of you what you're claiming is that i believe this proposition i ought to be able to discuss meta ethics despite knowing nothing about meta ethics on a big platform and that the belief is false right so you're saying a that i believe it and b that it's false now if the ought refers to preferences it is true that i believe it um and i'm definitely not convinced that it's false if the ought, Wait, I'm not concerned if the ought, about your psychological state, Isaac. If the ought doesn't, if the ought, doesn't, if the I don't ought, give a fuck about your ought, psychological if state. Ought, if the ought doesn't refer to preferences, then it's not a belief that I have. So Wait, it wouldn't be what, an example of a false belief. I don't give a fuck about what you actually believe. I worry. I'm concerned oh, about is... whether the proposition itself is true or false. No, what you started with was a claim. Um, that are you? This you're being uncharitable again. No, no, no. Why would I give a fuck you, about what you, you can't, actually you can't end just, up believing? Look, Rem, at the end of the Rem, day? you can't just call uncharitable when I get you in the corner. Now you are really in the corner oh, on this really point. Oh, you really got me. Well, uh -oh, why don't why don't why don't you why don't you stay then? Maybe you can get out of it. Because it's completely irrelevant to to the conversation. No, no, no. I've I've really. We're worried about. The, the, the you're, actual, you're not appreciating like, what ought yeah. means oh, and we, now you're yes, doing this weird semantic thing about whether or not oh, yeah. i actually yeah, hold what, the belief what, well this wait wait a second i'm concerned about wait whether the second. belief is true wait, no, not no, no, about no. whether it's true or false that you hold no, the belief no, no 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 you claimed that i have a false okay. belief right and this was the example of that false belief and the stream will show yeah someone says he knows you have to go and he's trying to get a cheap shot oh i'm oh i'm happy oh i'm happy to talk to you tomorrow and if you want, I'll even not upload this and then stitch it together with the conversation we have tomorrow or the next time, right? I have no interest in getting a cheap shot that ends with me winning. If you want me to stitch another, so, if stop, I'm, Isaac, I'm diffusing, Isaac, I'm diffusing that lie. I'm diffusing that lie. If you want me to wait for the conversation to complete, then stitch it together with the next half and then upload that. I'm fine with that. So there's no interest in a cheap shot. 
Now, okay, I want, I want you, no, 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 Ram, wait, I want you to follow this because I have really got you on this point and you aren't appreciating it, okay? Then let me ask you one, one second, one second, right? Look, you, remember, one second, we had this conversation look, earlier do, look, about do, me do being you, able to say do, something do, to you. I, but I'm the one You're who's saying trying you have a to say something. Got, I've got me in a contradiction, so well, now I need, let me wait, why it's not just, a contradiction. Uh, stop, look, every, you can't oh, just weasel yeah, like this when I get you in the hole, Ram. Okay, now just look. If You're doing that, the thing that we talked Rem, about earlier. Okay, uh, well, I'm doing the thing. I don't fucking care. Rem, if that ought... You're being uncharitable. If that ought refers to preferences, that's a belief oh I have, and I don't think you can show it's false. If that ought does oh not God. refer to preferences, it's not a belief I have, so it can't be a false belief. It's one or the other. So does it refer to pref? Oh Look, just answer. Does it refer to preferences or not? You can tell. It's just a basic syllogism, and you're going to get fucked here. So does it refer to preferences or not? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it's not a belief I have. Great, so it's not an example of a false belief. It doesn't belief. matter. It doesn't matter. Well, well it certainly because matters I'm, if your claim is that it's a false I'm, belief. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got because, you, you're God. Oh, what a laugh that was. But look, regardless yeah. of what, hold on. The ought is not going to change depending on who it is. It is always necessarily, like you, you have this perception <clears throat> that this ought is, you know, a personal preference. You're but it rambling. actually is not. You're just rambling. You know I got you in what the What do you mean I'm not rambling? If I believe, look, look, look if Rem, I hold the claim that an ought just, claim is a normative reason, can I explain to you I that you talking no, I want, over No, over I want, again? I want, I have got you, you in a- You just want to do a gotcha. You've got to, so Rem, let me explain why I, it's well, not a well, gotcha. Well, wait a, just wait a second. I'm not interested in an explanation why it's not a gotcha. I want you to reply to it, right? So- I am wait, replying once, to you, but you're cutting second. me off. Well, once, you're cutting me off before I can finish delivering the syllogism, okay? So just stop. Now look, if that ought refers to preferences, it's a belief I have. If it doesn't, it's not. And if it's not a belief that I have, then that's not an example of a false belief. And you were wrong when you said it's a false belief I had. It's simple, right? Now you said, no, you, that's wrong. you said, one second, you said that it's not, um, it doesn't refer to uh, preferences. So by modus ponens, that is not a belief I have. And therefore it's not a false, it's not an example of a false belief I have, right? That's wrong. Oh, You're wrong. Uh, okay, because, so look, do I need the, to? The do you want me to write is, it out? I can formalize it. This no, no, is clear I, I as daylight. I can explain this to you. I can explain. You have the perception that that there is no if, if or or like it is always from my perspective. Ought is always this categorical. It has nothing to do with personal preference. Okay, and so your belief that you ought to be able to do this, you are mistaken in the belief that it is a personal preference. It's actually not. You actually you are operating under the perception that I uh, of ought that I have <clears> ascribed. <throat> right that it is this categorical normative belief you are mistaken in believing that these prescriptive claims are a reflective of a personal preference for something so no you do actually i guess have this genuine belief but you are mistaken about what the term ought means within that sentence okay there so you go. i'm not i'm not well if the ought there if the, me, if the ought Mr. if the ought there if the ought there refers to well let's just be clear right because i told you you might be able to get out of it if you try right and I certainly what did you have you were trying to get out of it. Now. So let's just be let's just let's just be clear. Let's just be clear, Rem. Let's just be clear. Let's just be clear, Rem. Let's just be clear. Okay. Now, if the <sighs> ought if the ought there refers to something other than preferences, right? Then I don't believe that I have that belief there. Well, no, I understand, but that's the whole argument. Okay, so the whole argument is about what ought means. So when you say that This is I've... why this is so fucking stupid, because I don't care about what you actually okay. believe ought means. I'm okay. concerned about the content of the belief, which I said okay. at the very start of this when you Wait, said I gotcha. But are you claiming that which is I bullshit. are you claiming that I have this belief that I ought be able Absolutely. to just Absolutely Yes, of okay. course, okay. because okay. that's okay. we're debating okay. about what okay. it means okay. that what okay. ought means. Okay, okay. Then now what does the ought refer to there? I, I well that's what we've been trying to discuss. You just, what just tell me what it, normative reason means. Okay. Now, just well, you make Look, it, okay, you just define this is the separate just, discussion. No, no, no. Just define Rem. Stop weaseling. Just define ought for me. Okay. What does it mean there? Ought. I I I gave you the example with you know walking the grandma and there always being in a sense a reason that can be justified. An ought ultimately has to bottom out in a categorical normative reason. Right. Okay. And at the end of the day, these categorical normative reasons are going to be uh, a reason that exists within our mo uh, a motivational set that is that someone is always justified in having. Okay. So you agreed that I'm uncertain whether there are categorical normative reasons, right? Well, I think you're mistaken in what you believe ought what ought means. 
Right, but just to be clear, um, you understand that I'm not convinced that there are categorical normative reasons, right? Sure. People are mistaken about okay. what is in their motivational <laughs> set all the time. Okay, okay, but... I'm the, mistaken about my own motivational the, set. But the thing is, what, whatever, what I'm mistaken about, that's, that's the belief I have, right? So if this ought refers to a categorical moral norm, a thing that I'm not sure exists, yeah, right? Yeah. Then it's not the case that I believe this proposition because I don't currently have the belief that those things exist. Yeah, I, I genuinely, well, again, right? this is why I was saying I'm not concerned about your explicit psychological state because that's a useless, it doesn't, it's well, completely I th I th irrelevant. I thought what we I'm concerned about... is with the content of the proposition, I said. Wait, and but, that's why but, I wrote okay, that on wait, my screen. Wait a second, but the claim, the claim, proper form. <clears throat> the claim was that I have false beliefs and that one of those beliefs is that I ought be able to discuss metaethics despite knowing nothing about metaethics. Yeah, the utilizing platform. the correct form of ought, which yeah, I believe but, I'm trying to explain to you, that belief would be false. Whether or not you actually believe that definition of ought right now is irrelevant to what we're trying to discuss. This is just a stupid gotcha. Well, well, no, no, no. Wait a second. So if that ought refers to a categorical normative reason, a thing that I'm not sure exists, then I don't believe this proposition. <laughs> Again, I've already told you I'm not concerned about your psychological. Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay, but, but but wait, but wait, okay. So let's. Who gives a fuck okay. about what that is? I don't okay. give a fuck wait, about what that is. Wait, I that over and wait, over and over again. Wait, okay, but so you grant that I don't currently have this belief, right? I I grant. Well, depends on what you want. If I don't, I, I don't I believe that, that I believe. I don't. Yeah. I grant that, again, I, this is irrelevant yep. because it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, no, it's relevant. Yeah, go ahead, though. No, it's not because we're arguing about what ought means. That's ultimately you, the dispute. Just, no, no, that's that's part of the, that's not. No, it's exactly. not. It doesn't matter we're, we're, because I could. Yeah. We're, we're, ought, we're determining what ought means in order to understand if that proposition is a false belief I have. But please, just the. No, um, but we, again, I already told you that. Look, what, but, but you I'm under. Wait. I'm not concerned <laughs> Okay, but, but wait a second, Rem. So you would grant, though, that I don't currently have a belief that I ought be able to discuss meta blah, 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 if the ought refers to a categorical normative reason. You understand that I don't have that belief right now, right? I understand you don't think it matters, but you understand that I don't have that belief, right? I believe that you, I, I genuinely, I actually believe that you have this sense of ought that I'm ascribing to you. I, I genuinely no, but believe it's about you might what, not be it's conscious. A, it's about whether I believe that I have that sense of ought, right? Yeah, and I believe, so when, when, I, when you say that I ought to be able to do this, I think that grounds out in your, cognition in some sort of categorical why, normative reason why that you, you have though? mistaken i am answering i am saying that i do genuinely believe that you believe that you're just mistaken about how it actually functions wait so one second if the ought there refers to categorical normative reasons a thing that i'm not sure exists right then it's not the case oh, that i have a God. belief that i ought Look, Rem, it's just, I don't understand. It's just the stupidest semantical bullshit I've I, ever discussed. I think, I think you are saying that, but I don't know that you have a way around what I'm saying, right? Now, I've made very clear once, what I mean. Once, one second, I want to work through this, okay? So the, I have to go. I'm already well, 10 minutes over. Okay, well, I'm 15 minutes okay, over. Well, you can, 18 you, minutes. Okay, well, you can go whenever you want, but let me let me just say Okay, this. well, then you I have can, to go now, and well, we will yeah, discuss this okay, in a further well, time. You, you can have the last it's word. Been, I, okay, well, you can have the last word. No, no, I want to make very clear to you that... This is a silly semantical thing. Uh, I don't think I it's say that. Okay, well, I don't think it's here. You can have the last word, but this is what I'm going to say, okay? So this sentence here, I ought be able to discuss metaethics, blah, 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 okay? If that ought refers to something other than a hypothetical norm, then I'm not convinced that I believe that, right? I don't believe that I have some categorical norm to do something because I don't currently believe those exist, right? Do you, So just please answer me with a clear yes or no. Do you accept that I currently don't believe that uh, non-hypothetical no. norms exist? You think that I believe that non-hypothetical? Yes. I okay. Well, <laughs> I, mean... I think I think moral statements necessarily motivate. Okay, well, I mean, if the ought refers to, I, I mean, all I can tell you is what I believe. You're just saying I'm lying now. It's like what a religious person might do. I like, believe, you know that, no, I believe that a moral motivation necessarily will motivate you. So if you believe that to be a moral thing, that is a morally okay thing to do, that will necessarily motivate you. Wait, are you talking, that is a belief sorry, that you I, think, I think you might be equivocating. Are you talking about whether I have the categorical norm or whether I believe that I have it? 
whether you have. That's okay, all that's, I've been concerned No, you're I've equivocating. Over over <laughs> no, no, no. I, one second, one second. I, I'm going to get you again. How many times have I said there's an equivocation? About there's an equivocation. Not giving a fuck about your psychological there, there's state. An, there's an equivocation, right? Because what we're talking about isn't if I have the norm. What we're talking about is if I have the belief that I have the norm, right? Because the belief in question is I ought to be and able how to. How many times? Ram, have I this said is. I, I, I want. Fuck. I want you to go through. This is tech. No, this okay. is technical, right? So. If, right, we're t what we're talking about is whether I have a belief that I ought be able to discuss meta-ethics despite blah, 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 right? Now, if that ought refers to a categorical moral norm, I currently don't believe those exist. So I don't have a belief that I have those, right? And you understand that I don't have a belief that I have those. So just to be clear, do in fact, do you understand that? Do you understand that I'm currently unconvinced that I have uh, 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 categorical norms? Oh, he left, wow, as if. So I guess I'll just finish the recording by just sort of pointing out the problem here. So we have this proposition, right? I ought be able to discuss meta-ethics despite knowing nothing about meta-ethics on a big platform. Now I just grant him big platform. I grant him knowing nothing about meta-ethics even though I don't accept either of those claims. Um, and we're just concerned with um, uh, is this thing right here, this proposition in brackets actually something that I believe? Now. What he was doing was he was talking about whether I have that ought, right? That's an equivocation from uh, whether I believe that I have that ought. Um, so if he would just actually allow me to ask the questions without trying to derail, he would have to acknowledge that I don't currently believe that I have categorical norms, unless he wants to just claim I'm lying, like a person suppressing belief in Jesus or something. Um, he would have to grant that I don't currently believe that I have those uh, norms. And if it's the case that I don't currently believe that I have them, then this proposition is not a false belief that I have. So I have no idea. Um, uh, so, so that means Ram is wrong when he cited this as an example of a false belief I have, and I'm still unaware of what the false belief that I have is supposed to be. And if Ram ever wants to come and, you know, <laughs> try, if he wants to continue this conversation, I'd be happy to, but what I'm gonna ask him is if he understands that I don't currently believe I have those norms, and therefore I don't currently believe this proposition. If I don't currently believe this proposition, then this proposition isn't an instance of a false belief that I have. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, so that's all for today. Till next time.